Hey y'all, it's Jonna. We have a new segment called Be For Real. It drops every Tuesday on YouTube. And what are we doing, Be For Real, Tan? We are going to be looking at three dating profiles. Three of them. And all three of them are bad. And, you know, we just going to have to pick the best of the worst. So make sure y'all subscribe so you can get all the dates when those drop every fucking Tuesday. I every gonna, Tuesday. We're going to keep it. All right, so... I know I talked about last time that the song for Thanksgiving was the greens, beans, potatoes, uh-huh. tomatoes, lambs, and I got to finish it. Um, what is y'all song for Christmas? If you hear this song, you know it's time for Christmas. Like, Oh, easy. Um, Silent Night, Temptation. I was going to say that. In my mind. In my mind. In my mind. I mean, I ain't going to lie to you. Being a December Ugh. baby. Okay. I'm not big on Christmas music. Yeah. Okay. I don't really care for it. Ain't I mean, Mariah it. Carey. I, wow. Okay. But I'm I'm not big on Christmas music. Just, I just. What does that have to do? Because it band? takes away from her day. Yes. Like, I'm not going to lie. She's not going to get two gifts. Thank you. <sighs> Thank you. She's not the star of her month. Thank you. Jesus, Jesus is the Jesus reason is, for the season. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Jesus just had to be born. <laughs> Eight Around days my- after me. <laughs> Eight days you know after. Yeah, poor you. Man, the other day I was talking to my sisters, and my little sister was like, okay, so like, do you just want your birthday gift on Christmas? No. Bro, I snapped. No. <laughs> no. No, I don't. I said, what about if I told you I'm going to give you your birthday gift on Christmas? Mm-hmm. She's but like, you have one sister that's like, her birthday is like directly after Christmas, right? Yes, but I feel like that's better. Because Christmas is out the way before your birthday. Mm-hmm. But when you're before Christmas, mm-hmm. you'd be like, man, fuck, bro. Like, no, I don't want to wait a week to get my birthday gift. Mm-hmm. No, I don't want to hear this is my birthday and my Christmas gift. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't want to hear that. What if it's a really nice? $20. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want 10 for my birthday and 10 for Christmas. There what if it it's really nice, though? How nice? Like, car nice. You want two cars? No. No. Okay. No, stuff like that is like. I get, but even that, like, if somebody <laughs> bought me a car, give me the car for my birthday. Okay, not for Christmas. Not for Christmas. Okay. Like, come on now. It's a fucking car. <laughs> okay. But, yeah. And it, if they was to propose to you, do you want it, like, in between, like, maybe on, like, the pick another month. 23rd or something? <laughs> nah, pick another month. We got 11 other months to choose from, baby. Everything don't have to happen in December. Niggas okay. love proposing on New Year's. And Valentine's. And your birthday. <laughs> Three dates I don't want. Boy, a nigga proposed to me on Easter. How about that? Damn. Ooh. What did I nigga, propose nigga, what to? What if a nigga proposed to you on Memorial Day? I don't. <laughs> that nigga don't give a fuck about you. <laughs> you know what? Salute the troops. And I love our you. love. <laughs> and our love. I fucking love you, I'm trying girl. to think. When was um, Gucci Daddy supposed to propose? Do you remember? I feel like it was in the summer. And it happened in like April. Because he couldn't wait. So there, it had no significance. Oh, yeah. Because maybe April, May? It, yeah. It was, it was right before graduation. Yeah, it, it was, was before graduation. I was pregnant, God damn me. Yeah. But it was just like, he couldn't wait. So the date was like nothing special. It was like, mm. I was actually at work. I, remember, I was in the middle of a shift. I remember when he sent it to me and I was just like, why? Why here? Why now? He was next? excited. Bro, wait, so I, let me he get off work. He came to her job and asked him to take her out of a patient's room. <laughs> <laughs> That nigga was real excited. I was working. Did yeah, you have like a, a lump sum of money coming or something? Like he was just like, you know what? No, he Today was, is the motherfucking day. No, I, I, I re- he was really just anxious. Like I feel Girl. like he just wanted to get it over with and yeah. just do it. He couldn't wait. But he had the ring for probably about he had the a ring week for a while because we broke up. Oh damn! Before and he showed me the ring. I had a ring for you. You know ass. that's the nigga favorite thing. Man, we break up. Man, I, look, no, I got I was, you a ring. I was gonna propose to you. He really was. I remember he that really too. was, but he texted me and I was like, mm. I fucked it up. <laughs> Maybe not now. Yeah, Maybe like, give it a No, he texted me the ring and I was just like, mm. Oh damn. It's like not really her style. At all. At fucking all. But I mean, if you're going for like an eighties like drug dealer thing. <laughs> <laughs> she love it. So it was cubic circonia? <laughs> or? It was clusters. Oh One damn. You know, a little golden nugget. You know, like it looks like somebody mm-hmm. who would accompany it with a golden nugget necklace. A great spades player. <laughs> A great space player. 
<laughs> you went from Britney to Grace real quick. <laughs> Cheryl. Uh, hell yeah, <laughs> Colleen. Hell yeah, with some red leather hot pants somewhere. Like yeah, one yeah. go to that For one. Real. Just, Just one. one and red nails. Hell yeah. yeah. Hell long red nails. But I, I mean, I know we've been talking so much. We're joined this week by none other than Ro. Hey. Hi. I don't know. Well, you said not to call you. I mean, listen. Okay. I go by mm-hmm. Ro, mm-hmm. Brandon. Stanley Newcomer. That's it just my favorite the, name. that that kind of just tells me how you know me. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like okay. if you call me Brandon, okay, you you really know me. Mm-hmm. If you call me Fat Rack, you really, really, really know me. Mm-hmm. Like it's just, you know. What do they call you, Ro? Ro is, you know, they probably met me somewhere between two thousand nine mm-hmm. on up, mm. you know. Do you have a favorite? But, um Ro is probably the Easiest one, not like, favorite. Favorite is yeah, it's still probably Ro. Ro. Yeah, Ro's a cool nickname. I like yeah. Stanley Newcomer. It's funny. As fuck. Where did that name come from, real quick? So uh, when we started Urban Trivia, I was like, man, like I should make it like a shtick, mm-hmm. like. You know the mm-hmm. corny game oh, show host. Yeah. And so my partner Darren was like, he just texts me randomly. Stanley Newcomer. <laughs> and I was like, nigga, that's fucking it. Yeah. That's a fire ass name. Yeah. yeah, it really is. So, like, literally, hello and welcome yeah. to Urban <laughs> Trivia. I'm your host, Stanley Newcomer. Like, this shit just flows. Oh, yeah, off. just flows. Yeah, so. Well, yeah, founder, creator of Urban Trivia. You know, we know y'all seen it. You know, you don't want some know. awards and stuff. I mean, you know, a few know, million is, views. Nothing. Yeah, come on. Like, come on. Several you times. Like, flex. Thousands of tickets sold. Oh, come yeah. on. Like, like hell yeah. yeah you know. And you know, like, low key, I be like, damn. Like, I don't want y'all to not get bigger. I definitely do. But I'm like, damn, they get bigger. They're going to take Dennis. Because <laughs> okay. Dennis do all our stuff. Hey, listen. <laughs> that is my priority. <laughs> to be Dennis honest got, with Dennis you. I tell leave. this nigga every single time. I don't want you to work for nobody else. I'm just not there yet. But well, like, I, I don't have to tell the way you. that he has changed Urban Trivia is yeah. like, I, we, I can't. I can't even put a fucking number on it. Like, yeah, and, and like I think that's the and, uh, not. You know, this is a I'll praise Dennis moment. I think Dennis like really sees <laughs> the. It's the, like this is awkward. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Dennis really sees like the vision in people. You know what yeah, I'm saying? For it brings yeah, for out real. the greatness. Like just even in our podcast, from us doing it and like us switching over to YouTube and stuff. Just you, you like you know you can do it or you yeah. know what you have at least, and it's right. just like amplifies it or whatever. So, but that also tell you. That you own to something because he probably ain't gonna fuck with it. Fact. If you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. or and like he'll be willing to give you information. Like, oh no, look, we could do this. Mm-hmm. Oh no, we could do that. Yeah, like, I mean, we're gonna try this this week, guys. Yeah. So we're gonna, I'm like, hey, whatever you say, you I know fuck what? with. Hell yeah, I'm riding with you. Do it. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, whatever you say, Dennis. We riding. All Thanks. right. So, and this is before even came one. Dennis was like, you know who would really stomp y'all on? Um, I don't even know. We don't even have a name for our section of what we do. Yeah, but. You're apparently the like the lyric hey, genius. Hey man, listen. You know, I've been rapping since I was like 15. Mm-hmm. You know, and um, music has just been a part of me since you the know beginning. before I, actually, I could even talk real good. So I love your music too. I appreciate I, it. I've been, I don't even know how like I started following you. I don't either. But I've been following <laughs> you for uh, we've been no, we friends yeah we've for been like a literally long friends time. For a don't long even know how. Time, yeah. But like just seeing the music and seeing like the growth with urban trivia and just everything is so fucking dope. Man, I appreciate it's it. It's so fucking dope. Well, let's get to these songs because I, I I'm low key a little nervous. I know, me too. Because I, I mean, just really, try to go easy. If it's I really not Wayne or Kanye, it. I'd be like, Ugh. all right. From back then, I'd be <laughs> He's like, all right. Ugh. And, and he's doing it with no phone. The band. Just just, just call us out on our, like, you don't know yeah. the lyrics, but no, we don't have hey. fucking lyrics. It's like, damn, we know we read them. I think it's probably really like a it's easy the birth one. control. I think it's very easy. <laughs> the birth control. <laughs> I think this is going to be easy. Okay. No, I was just over here telling y'all, I thought uh, Chris Brown said make you cry like a baby goat. And you want me to do it off the dome? Yeah. All right, I, I ain't I, happening. I, you, you would have stumped us with it. <laughs> you would have definitely oh, stumped us like with it. Baby goat. Goat. With a baby goat. Hold on. I don't know. I don't know the baby goat song. <laughs> a bendigo? <laughs> I don't know that one. You want to go first? All right. I'll, oh, who? Me? Yeah, you want uh, me to go you first? Go first. All right. So listen. See, I come alive like a moth in the summertime. Japanese wheels. 
blades all samurai. <laughs> Two. No? No. Two. Japanese blaze moth? I come alive like a moth in the summertime. Japanese <laughs> wheels, blades all samurai. <laughs> Shine brighter than the mothers. Shine brighter than them niggas on the other side. Time to make a blind motherfucker recognize. Mm -mm. You got us. Uh, yeah, you got, you got it. us. I that quick. That's. You got to. I, you want to give some more. Watch this. <laughs> I chose this one uh -huh. because you said you know Kanye. I didn't say all of it. I know it's a. I know it's a heartbreak time. I don't know that nigga. That's um uh. Uh, fuck. Now, uh, Devil in a New Dress. Rick Ross. Damn. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, Ooh. man. That was Damn. embarrassing. You want to do another one? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is the one that I was going to do until, because I wanted to, you know, uh, give you something that you might. Shit. That ain't okay. it. Damn. That wasn't it. I, I need you for the old me. I, I need, need you. you for for my sanity. Need you for the oh, that's there you SZA. Go. Yeah. Need oh. you for my sanity. Need you <laughs> that was to good. Okay. That, yeah, come. that's, that's more, a good. Yeah, there, there we go. go. <laughs> yeah. yeah, let's cut the rest of that out. <laughs> <laughs> but just know if he really wanted to slot like a nine. Oh man, like listen, some shit. I could have just went any Jay Z verse. I was. That's what I thought you was gonna do. Mm -hmm. I can't lie. Well, I'm make. Uh, well, I ain't, never mind. I know some Jay Z. I ain't gonna. I don't know all of it, but I know some of it. Goddamn me. I, <laughs> I know encore, <laughs> <laughs> and I gotta sing the hook. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are you waiting for? <laughs> Facts. Okay. Oh, you know you niggas want a bitch like me. Oh, uh, is that Trina? No, F bottoms with the wife beater, rocking Nikes. Oh, uh, Shauna. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. God damn it. You niggas want a bitch like, like me. <laughs> Man, what's the name of the song? Uh, mm, mm, Nike. Like me. No. Mm. No, fam. <laughs> Is it getting some hair? Getting some. There yeah, you go. Yeah. All right. Look at oh, that. Shit. Okay, so I, I think I might stump both of y'all. Okay. Is it WizKid? <laughs> 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 we lift our hands in the sanctuary. <laughs> no, because y'all would only know Essence. Um, let's see. You don't need no other body. <laughs> Thanks. I mean, yeah, no, we wouldn't do Whiskey. No Burner Boy either. Okay. Okay. Um, I've been waiting all day for you, Bay. So won't you come sit and talk to me? You tell me how we're going to be together always. Mm. Hope you know that when it's late at night, I hold on to your pillow tight. And think about how you promised me forever. Oh. I don't know, but you got this, me. Hold on. Wait. No. <laughs> it's better not be Selena. Yeah, it ain't so, no, it ain't no Selena. Oh. <laughs> Come you on, finished the floor. lyrics with <laughs> I think you, you I know. The, I know what she's, I don't know what it, who it is, though. I can do the next chord. I mean, the next verse. I know this. Tell me why you're looking so confused when I'm the one who didn't know the truth. How could you ever be so cold to go behind my back and call my friend? Boy, you must have gone and bumped your head. Mm, hold on. Because you left her number on your phone. Mm. So now, after all is said and done, maybe I'm the one to blame. But to think that you could be the one, well... It didn't work out that way. Hell no. It sounds like some uh, Summer Walker, though. No. Nah. Snow not, Allegra. It's, it's not real, nah. is it? No. Is it new or old? Old. Oh, Do shit. Do the first part again. I've been waiting all here. I've been waiting all day here for you, bae. So won't you come sit and talk to me? You tell me how we're going to be together always. Hope you know that when it's late at night, I hold on to Monica. a pillow tight. And think about how you promised me forever. I don't Damn. fucking know. Give me the hook. <laughs> get out. JoJo. Get out. Oh, get out. Leave right now. It's the end of you. I had to. Wow. You made me want. I had to turn on my VH1 brain. Wow. Should have gave y'all ass uh, perfect by simple plan then. If that's the case. <laughs> 
Bruh. I'm sorry I can't be perfect. <laughs> All of that shit used to come on VH1 in the middle Hell of the night. Yeah. I remember I thought Tana knew uh, Fallout. Was it Fallout Boys? Yeah. Shit. Or Paramore or some shit. And I was just like, no. Get out. Leave. Right now. <laughs> it's the end of you and me. Yeah, you definitely it's got too me late. So y'all know it though. Yeah. I can't wait for you to be gone. All right. That mm-hmm. was that was you did that. You, yeah. That you, was good. You you are the winner of this week's <laughs> I'm mean, I didn't get know yours, your lyrics. But I I yeah. Mm. All right. Well, <laughs> hey best friend. Ain't it a blessing? You are listening to another episode of Here You Podcast. Here you podcast homes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I I think that might have been racially insensitive. <laughs> oh, okay. Come on now, fam. Uh, Just don't cancel it, guys. You know, ignorance stop. is bliss. Excuse me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm oh, so sorry. If, if they'll give First it was LeBron Selena. for Taco Tuesday, they're definitely going to get your ass <laughs> for pulling that hat over your head. Over your eyes. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying if they, I said Selena first. I mean, first it was Selena. It sounded like Selena. <laughs> Late what about- at night when all the world's <laughs> asleep and I stay. That's not, that's what I was getting at first. Ha! <laughs> 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 don't throw me no rose. That's the rose. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I, ain't trying to, I ain't trying to be gay with you. <laughs> <laughs> ain't nothing wrong if we be gay once. Oh, my God. I'm just going to throw it to me. Do it again. Hold on. I'm sorry. Do it again. You sing and the song. I wish on a star that somewhere... <laughs> the next scene is Selena being pushed in the ambulance. Oh, boy, damn. the egg falling out her head. <laughs> Ooh, that goddamn Ooh. gold egg. Selena Quintanilla. <laughs> what, what was it? Quint- Quint- Quintanilla. Quint- 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 All right, <laughs> now we went too far. <laughs> we gonna go ahead and stop. Uh, this is Hear Ye. We got Ro, mm-hmm. Urban Trivia. You hey. ready to get started? I'm ready. Hey, right, let's get it. Hey. Let's get All right, so y'all ready to go ahead and get started in this week with the shit? So we have Let's to explain. Oh, yeah. Yes. It's not even a game. Yeah, so, bro, we do have this little game we do. I'm going to say a topic, okay. and we're just going to go around, kind of like concentration. You just say the first thing that comes to mind, and we're going to keep <laughs> going until somebody fucks up. Just one word? Yeah. It okay. could be one Yeah, one word. Sometimes we get a little, you know, my lips slide with two, three. But a little Kendrick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not a little Kendrick. You go, though. But mostly just one word. First thing that comes to mind. Gotcha. Okay, so we're going to start off with, let's do 100 rounds, sweetie. Fine. Boss, icy girl. <laughs> <laughs> Ranch. Blue girl from uh, X-Men. California. Crocs. Georgia. Oakland. Quavo. Bentley. Suitcase. <laughs> uh, 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 emoji. Damn. Sexy. <laughs> yearbook. <laughs> Wait, yearbook? Yeah, because she does a little thing with all the rappers and stuff. It look like a yearbook when she put people on. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Content. She's Rapper. Really... <laughs> That's damn Shane. That was a little... <laughs> damn. All the way there. <laughs> McDonald's. Oh, fuck. Sweetie sauce. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Noodles and nuggets. Fine ass daddy. Ooh. Fine ass mama. I was just going to say that. God damn it. Hennessy. Short hair. Light skin. Ball head. <laughs> All right, y'all. All right. Now. All right. I really wanted to stop when this one said motherfucker. I, I don't know. <laughs> Where the reference came from? Because you took what I was going to say. You said sweetie sauce. And I was like, motherfucker. Yeah. And we just kept going. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. So we tea. All right, y'all. So um, I would say, you know, maybe y'all knew, but clearly nobody did. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sweetie recently mm-hmm. dropped an album. Oh, shit. Man, we didn't say album. <laughs> <laughs> Sweetie recently dropped an album. Mm-hmm. 
And um, actually came out. She only sold two thousand copies the first week. Is that true though? It's Not very bad. true. It's Not bad. It's very true. Okay. So sweetie posted and said, oh, "Hate parade. I must be that bitch. I make music for pretty bitches. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If you can't relate, I understand." Damn. So I guess I ain't pretty. <laughs> I didn't know you released the no, album. See, this is the thing. Okay. You just didn't know about it. Okay. Well, I'm obviously not Because you pretty. pretty, you would have listened to it. Because she, that's, that's pretty bitch music. <laughs> <laughs> you would have had to listen to it, right? I would have been drawn to it. You know what I'm saying? Like a mag, it was a magnetic pull yes. to the pretty bitch music. Mm-hmm. And still. You know what I thought was very. <laughs> and still. <laughs> here we are. What I thought was odd was she, I don't know if this is the album that she makes the reference to Quavo. Mm-hmm and about fucking mm-hmm. somebody mm-hmm. but i was like damn you did all that and still only two thousand now see we don't know see okay i have because now i got to turn on my rapper brain yeah is she signed or is she independent because two thousand independent mm-hmm. ain't that bad mm-hmm. True. when you got mcdonald's money hell yeah i don't need Sweetie to sell a fucking money. album all she need is just to stay relevant. Mm-hmm. That's all she really needs. She's not a fucking rapper. Let's She's just really, be honest. And I, She's want, I want for her to stop. Rapping? Yes. Why? She just got to find something new first. I think, but Sweetie does a good job of putting on other people, though. Uh, like, yeah, Sweetie is signed to Warner. Okay. Yeah, so then that's bad. <laughs> But but we don't know how much it costs to make the album. Mm-hmm. You know, like she, she might have recouped. I don't. She. It sounds like she's real red. reddish. It sounds but very you, red. I'm trying to give her. You know. Because mm-hmm. have you listened to anything on the album? No. Okay. Have y'all? I, I didn't know it know came she out. She brought out an album, so I didn't know it came out until everybody said that she only sold 2K. Well, that's the reason she sold 2K because <laughs> mother. Look, and nobody pushed it. You I didn't know, know nothing about it. Just I mean, I heard about, like I said, the song that you know makes some reference to Quavo. I didn't even listen to that. Well, I got the back. I heard the backlash. Like it's too soon. Yeah. And in, and and Sweetie's defense, like what's too oh, soon? Oh, because she made the song about takeoff. No, no, she made the song talking about her relationship with Quavo. But I thought she made a song dedicated to takeoff. Oh, she did. I don't know. I feel like she did. And then that's when people started talking about the album. Oh, maybe so. I, I, I don't know. I didn't get that. I see records. So that's our own. Yeah. So she. So is that considered oh, independent? See, you know what I'm yeah, but she, she might got a JV. Warner. So she might got a JV. Yeah. She might got a joint venture. Mm. So you know you'll. I think so because she. <clears throat> excuse me. She do put out a lot of different artists and stuff like that. So I feel like it would make sense for Sweetie. Sweetie. And if. Know. And if I'm being oh, honest, oh. if I'm being honest, hmm. two thousand sales today. Probably is like three million listens because you're streaming this, right? Like, ain't nobody going to buy the shit. So, you have to stream it so many times for it to even equal a purchase. But it said bought, right? It said, but this is That's like the they basically the do math. Yeah. They say 2,000 listens equals one Ooh. sale type shit. Cause we do have a rule oh, here, bro. You. Oh, shit. Right. You ain't got to worry about me. We got a rule. Your phone go off. You got to answer. <laughs> mm. Who that? Read uh, it. Ooh, and it's a TikTok. It's th- <laughs> it just had things therapy taught me. Mm, That's well, it. Well, read the read what's before it. Oh, is that the one where they talk to stalkers like I am a stalker, or something like that? That's it. Mm. That was that. Ha, nothing juicy in there. Mm. Wrong messages, but I, I did. I sent that. Yeah, yeah, I believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I sent it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nothing juicy yeah. there. Whew, thank the Lord. Yeah. Um, I mean, okay, I do agree because that's the reason why everybody's numbers be a little bit lower than what you would expect, you know? Because mm-hmm. I think, what was it, Kendrick? They said his last it was album like did. 600,000 or something like that. I thought it, it was, was lower. Maybe so. Maybe yeah, so. but everybody was just like, oh, that's a little low for Kendrick. You know, everybody it's thought it's it not the same, though. It's not the same. It's not the same. And we don't know what a stream is. We don't know the true value How of a stream. How much is a stream? Yeah, we really? don't know. But what if she really sold 2,000 albums, though? I mean, she could have done that out of the backseat of her car. No, well, I meant Apple. You know, iTunes still. <laughs> <laughs> Not the backseat of her car. I didn't mean like actual physical albums. I meant like, what if you, what if two thousand people really bought it on iTunes? I mean, then you know. Is that better? Mm, that probably maybe. would be better than streaming because mm-hmm. at least no. I, I would imagine being she honest, would get a percentage. She gonna get a percentage regardless, though. But so this is the thing, though. Like if I. Nine ninety nine from Apple, mm-hmm. but the label sold it to them for X amount. Mm-hmm. So like, she getting pennies anyway. Like 
the music don't really fucking matter. Like mm -hmm. you gotta have you gotta have like a hit hit to even really make money off music. All she need to do is just stay relevant. That's all she gotta do. That's the only reason why she putting out music. Yeah, but because who asking for a sweet? Do you know a sweetie fan? <laughs> We we even <laughs> saying her name wrong. We've been sitting so up here weedy. this whole time. Sweetie. Right, sweet. It's so weedy. So weedy. So weedy. Do I know a sweetie fan? One fan. I know girls who think she's pretty. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But I don't know anybody that's like they oh buy my into God. her. And not her Rich music. nigga, eight exactly. figure. That's my type. See, Ooh. I couldn't even give you that. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know shit else. I mean, and I think she was on a remix, and people were mad. I can't Damn. remember which one. Oh, was. fuck nigga free. Yeah. They're like, no. <laughs> Took her right Take off. Took her off. Damn. And it, it didn't come back on either. But <laughs> it didn't come, <laughs> didn't right come back, back on, on either. <laughs> um But then, what's the difference between Lotto releasing all them 150 songs that That wasn't her. That to wasn't her it. released it. That was Nicki it's Minaj. A, <laughs> it what? was a so it was a leak, right? So uh -huh. basically it was somebody basically exposing that she don't write her shit. Oh. Yeah. Because it had other people mm -hmm. rapping and shit. But guess who told her that she would she could leak her music? Nikki. Damn. Told her she could leak it? Oh. Nikki told her she could leak it whenever they had their little spat a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, 150 songs come out. And then we hear uh, her doing the reference for the Bia, Bia song. Sheesh. Well. Well. Well, well, well. Does I anybody know. write? Nobody writes for Party Next Door. <sighs> I mean, Summer Walker. there's probably five writers that's writing everything for the girls, if we're being honest. Yeah, for real. Party. Yeah. Star Who else. Up. What's the other girl? Uh, Uzi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shit up. Uh, uh, Yachty. Yeah, Yachty. That's what I was trying Yachty. to think of. Yachty. Uh, and then who's the girl? Um, is it her name? Is her name Nyjah? N no. Queen Nyjah? No, not Queen Nyjah. Uh, she came out with a song with... Um, the one that's saying, I see her. She came with her name. Ah, yeah, yeah. I know oh, who you're talking about. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, well, fuck. She's a really big writer, too. Oh, she wrote that song? No, she didn't write that song, but she's oh. a really big writer. I know she's a really big writer. Mm. I don't, I mean, it is It is a lot of people writing. <laughs> it's a lot of writers. <laughs> Uzi, Uzi did, what, didn't he write uh, something for City Girls? No, nah, that's Yachty you're thinking, thinking about. Act oh, right, shit. act up. Yeah, never mind, that one. Yeah. All right. And who is somebody else I'm thinking of? He was like, oh, he gave me the song. I hear about a lot about this person. Can't think of who it is. Shit, Blast was writing a lot. Hell yeah, it sure was. Oh, I love Blast. Sheesh. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, Blast was doing a lot of writing. You know, and I, mm, I love me some Party, child. Party, definitely. Hell yeah. Party's a big writer. Well, you know, the music industry is just, I don't know. I, I just think, sweetie, just, I don't want to say shut up and be pretty. No, That's you can't what it sounds do that. You can't do that. But it's just like, I think she just needs to focus on her other strengths. And I don't think music is one of them. Like I say, she just probably, all she care about is I'm relevant. Because even, even in selling 2,000 copies, we're still talking about it. Yeah, mm -hmm. true. So she's still going to get impressions. like, And that's all they give a fuck about at the end of the day. That's Something true. To say. So okay, but real quick, do you feel like her dropping whatever she said about takeoff or, or Quavo? Do you feel like it was too soon? I think it was in poor taste and like poor timing. Cause I mean, come on now, they just had a whole death in their family. Mm -hmm. Like, <sighs> but then other people were saying that he didn't he give would, a fuck about her, and they've been on her. Yeah, and I mean, it's just like she didn't plan that. The album was already coming out. What you supposed you take the song off? Yeah. So now she sell thirteen hundred copies. <laughs> God damn! What y'all want her to do? Oh, thirteen hundred. She didn't equal plan to it. You know, that's, a, that's you true. Know, that's true. Seven hundred came for that song. <laughs> <laughs> the song we don't know. <laughs> none of us have heard it. The song that none of us know. know. I've heard it. Yeah, uh -huh. but go just, check that out. <laughs> right. Go, go listen and let us know. Come back. So we need. Yeah, report, report back. back. Put it in the comments. <laughs> in the comments. If you listen to this, if you listen, what's, this, what's the album called? Okay. Icy girl, <laughs> right? So icy, I, I, icy times. Ig, icy girl. <laughs> Let me look. Sweetie, sweetie. Stream Sweetie's new album. It What's is called the Single Life. Oh, oh damn, that's why. <laughs> that's even a terrible. You know what, the Sweetie? Single life. <laughs> <laughs> I 
It is a kind of she. The songs, the uh, titles are "Don't Say Nothing," mm. "Boss Chick," okay, "P U S S Y," "Powerful Utopia Supreme." Oh, get the fuck all out of right. here! All right, so we <laughs> all right. Powerful <laughs> Utopia Supreme Sacred. I don't know what the Y stand for. That's a, that's this week's episode. You. Goddamn me! <laughs> <What the fuck? laughs> Handle my truth. Okay. Memorable. Mm -hmm. No reception. All these song titles are mid. How many songs is on it? Six. So it's oh, an EP. Oh, okay. See, she ain't even put no budget behind it. <laughs> you know, she it. didn't. She didn't. She ain't market it. Mm -hmm. She ain't promote just it. Just said, hey, y'all, I, got, just, a, you know, I got an EP. She just put that out there. I got some music. That's, she, that's a little throwaway. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> Sweetie got me. She got music. Right. Sweetie got so music. She, she just got threw jams. that out there. You know what I'm she saying? She got what? She got jams. You know What's another jam? Rich nigga eight figure. That that's my, my type. That's, that's, that's my type, type, nigga. That's my type. Uh, ain't, ain't that the one song y'all said earlier? Yeah. Um, <laughs> best it, friend with Doja Cat. Or not? Okay. Best friend with Doja Cat. Okay. Okay. No, and I, uh, I like Sweetie. So I think Sweetie is a, a very cute girl. I think she has a lot of personality. It sounds like shut up and dribble. It's not, <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> no, but Amber Rose, shut up and model. No, I Damn. think that she should focus on like content because during like quarantine sweetie was a fool with the content Damn. when she was like dressing up like as a little like sims characters you remember that mm -mm. anybody remember mm -hmm. her dressing up and actually, she was like doing like a sim character mm -mm. oh well her content was like i know she I, tier. I know she really is known for eating like weird I yeah said weird, but just different shit yeah that's she you know the ranch she on like the spaghetti girl. you said what she like a fat girl yeah, like worse than no, she eat like how they think fat girls eat. Yeah, uh, yeah. No, yeah. so she eats how they think like fat women be like six hundred pound type shit. Hell yeah, hell yeah. So, you like, know, putting a whole bottle of ranch, ranch on spaghetti on, shit. on a on a glizzy. <laughs> <laughs> Just scarf it down. Hell yeah, they think fat people eat like that, and we really don't. Hell yeah, take a bag of no, chips and crush not. them and throw them in noodles. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't. I think of myself, but shit. I don't be eating shit like that. Yeah, take the bag of Doritos, crush them up, put it in noodles. <laughs> now put the noodles in a Dorito. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Making spreads and shit. Hell yeah. yeah. Definitely not. Okay, well. Eating cookie butter out the jar. <laughs> With you an ice cream what? cone, just dipping just, it in there. Just squeezing cookie dough in your mouth, just straight out the tube. Just. <laughs> For real. Yeah, y'all. Mm -hmm. I am breathing heavy while doing it. <laughs> <sighs> Cupcake got to do tweaking coming out. <laughs> this is a bad motherfucker. Sweet <laughs> body to a cream filling shit all in your mouth. <laughs> Glitter. <laughs> Bro, I'm crying. <laughs> Oh my Damn gosh. Y'all are a so, mess. So but weird. go stream Sweetie's single life. Single life. You know. <laughs> it's it's, it's in your phone right now. It's you know not your phone right now. <laughs> <laughs> go stream it. If go you listen. You want to give that a spin. <laughs> a yeah, spin. run it up. Because <laughs> you know what the fuck going on. Yeah. Y'all know what the fuck going yeah. on. Only if you're a pretty bitch. Only if you're a pretty bitch. Yeah. Only if you're only a pretty yeah. bitch. <laughs> Hell yeah, if you an ugly bitch, don't listen. Because it ain't for you. <laughs> okay, sit You can't out. relate. You, you can't relate to that one. You know what's out. Yeah, ugly ass house. And if you're in a relationship, don't listen to it either. <laughs> only for the yeah, sing, single, single pretty, pretty bitches. bitches. <laughs> single pretty boss bitches. Glitter, glitter. Yeah. It's only 2,000 of y'all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what everybody said. Damn, it's only 2,000 pretty bitches. <laughs> Shit. That's fucked up, man. Oh, Everybody has a different definition of pretty, guys. Nice. Exactly. It's Everybody's pretty. Yeah, Every, not everybody pretty. Everybody, you yeah. pretty or you pretty ugly? Damn, either one. Either one. Not, not really, but <laughs> just shout, about shout out to Sweetie. Yeah, shout out to Sweetie. Let's go ahead and go on over to our next topic. Single life. Let's do a hundred rounds. Lucky day. Beast. Roll some more. Damn, bro. <laughs> Hair. One. Essence. Okay, hear me out, y'all. <laughs> no, <Nah>, go. <laughs> Hear me out. I'm going to say Shuri. Fail. <laughs> no, you fucking will not. Bruh. Okay. I saw Wakanda forever. Every time I saw Shuri, I saw Lucky Day. Ma'am. That's fucked up. <laughs> and this is just me having a mo I'm having another vulnerable moment with you guys. Okay. Shuri was giving Dyke Princess. <laughs> Especially when they went to the college. <laughs> when she went to the college. Yes. I was like. Even the way Shuri was standing, like sh the car scene is the perfect one. Shuri was standing like this. <laughs> in a, in a, but she fell in love with Neymar. 
uh, was it really? No more. It's giving I real. Uh, what's uh, Days Loaf? Oh damn, let a nigga. Dark and days, yes. dark and days. I, mean, I don't know if it's giving Days <laughs> Loaf. It's giving Lucky Day. That's what it's giving. <laughs> Damn. Her hair, she looked like Lucky Day to me. All right, fam. Was that part of All your, right. what you call it? That yeah. was her. Shuri was her. Yes. <laughs> Table for two is mine. Oh, damn. That's uh, a good one. Okay. Damn. I couldn't got your ass. Yeah. Hell yeah. It was going to end anyway. Candy Man. drip. You could have just went. Albums. That didn't songs. Know, yeah. Stuck yeah. at that. I was, I was going to say uh, House of Blues. Uh, yeah, where we saw him at, but that's really all I know. Oh, y'all was at that show. Mm-hmm. I was there too. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah, we was definitely we at the there, shows, child. man. The concerts, child. Shout out! I'm gonna go see Rod Wave next week. Oh, girl, you gonna I be with I'm the niggas? To, I think I'm gonna have to chaperone my little nephews up there too. Really? I took them last year. I, okay, real. I've I heard this from several niggas. They were like, Rod Wave, that's an amazing. It's the best concert I've ever. That's niggas, Mary J. Blige. You don't think so? <laughs> <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> You, <laughs> not right you have it issues. Is. That's that's the niggas with pain. Y'all gonna go out there? Because he is hurt <laughs> as fuck. Hell yeah. Heart been broken so many times. Yeah. Heart been broke so many times. Uh, Did you feel that way about the concert? I'm gonna let you watch it. I'm not gonna spoil it. Do you feel like that though? Text me after. I that's why everyone like the energy is so like the energy the energy. What, what what's the energy at the they just said it's like it's just so lit. Like that's like, people. Several people have said that's the best concert they've ever been to. Really. Only videos I've seen is whenever he fell through the floor. <laughs> oh my god! I just feel like you finna be in there with the with the niggas with pain. I am. And this nigga gonna be it's gonna be a lot of thug tears. I, I'm finna start crying. Have you ever felt like you was worthless? <laughs> and you ain't I'm, worth I'm it. Worthless. <laughs> Green light. <laughs> <laughs> in the party. Yeah. That's the only song that I took from that concert. I went in knowing uh knowing the heart been broke so many times mm-hmm. and I came out with green light. I'm gonna let you watch it. I, I'm not gonna say nothing. Promising. I'm not gonna say shit. He just gives me just walk across the stage a bunch of times. Don't tell he, him. Don't he, tell he, gets, him. he gets very Don't lazy to me. I mean, Don't I told you him. I saw him fall through the floor. He spent the money on the tickets already. <laughs> it's gonna be great. He's gonna have a great time. He's gonna have an amazing time. I, okay, but he looks like that to me. He looks very like a lazy performer. Man, this he, nigga don't even sing the whole. It looks like it's, song. He, it's more audience it. participation. It yes, it's hard been broke so many times. Ah uh, ah. Uh. Next song. No, and the then audience. the people, oh, the audience like, sing the rest Mama of the fucking song. My fault, my fault. I am my heart on my sleeve. That's lit, like, I bullshit you not. Mm-hmm. Unless I caught him on a bad day. Mm-hmm. He, he gonna bring a white boy out there, and that nigga, that nigga can sing, though. Mm-hmm. That white boy sing his ass off. Mm-hmm. But, uh. Um, That's about it. I really want to see Mariah the Scientist, too. So oh, yeah. I fuck with Mariah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be there early. I think the doors open at eight. I'm gonna be there Where at nine. Where you at? Toyota again? No, surprisingly, he is in Fort Worth at the Dickies Arena. Oh, Goddamn shit. That's me! Good. No one For ever him, comes. At least. No one ever comes out there. Oh yeah, and you live in? Well, I live in Fort Worth. No one ever comes out. It's out okay. Who, who the fuck gonna come to Fort Worth to come find you me? Tri- you try Facts. <laughs> <laughs> he don't even want to go out there. Yeah, he like that's oh, probably why he went out there. Dallas. <laughs> they Man, they pitched it to him as Dallas. No, he definitely gonna say Dallas. Yeah, he gonna go out there. Dallas. What's up, Dallas? What's Hell up? Yeah. But yeah, it's gonna be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Fort Worth, nigga. It's gonna be a bunch of mess. Oh. <laughs> Go ahead, you chill, can put baby. your uh, beanie back. Yeah, on. that's why. She, <laughs> that's why. Okay. That's why. She gonna be a hurt chola. All right, shout out to look uh, look out racing, look out everything. Okay, you feel, if you need some official lookout merch, let me know. I know the person to go to. Long live lookout. Long live lookout. All right. Man. But okay, <laughs> y'all. Not, on, not too much on oh, me. Oh, but hold on. What did Lucky Day do? Yeah, it's Lucky Lucky Day, right? Mm-hmm. Lucky Day actually decided to post on Twitter a few days ago. If I get you a BBL, I'm putting an air tag in it. I feel him on that. What? But it's my ass. No, that's my it's ass. My ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's my no, ass. No, 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 no. Be clear. <laughs> Be cl- I got the no. receipt for it. No, nigga, it's a gift. Yes. Who said? How are you gonna get it back? It's a gift. You can't come get it back. For you, for me. <laughs> it's a gift for me. For me though. From you. For yes. you. From. For us. For by me. Us. <laughs> 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 not not booty. Exactly. 
booty for uh, no. us by us. No, it's mine, and I appreciate you. Mm. That's what it sounds like to I me. Agree. That's that's what it's that's what it is. Mm-mm. So what the air tag gonna do? I'm gonna follow that. I guess that he's ass. just gonna say <laughs> I'm gonna follow, follow that you. ass in the mall. <laughs> I guess he's he was just going to keep, you know, he want to make sure you ain't going to go too far with that ass that he gave okay. you. Because you're not going to know what to do with it. That's, see, no, now, I'm gonna know, if we want to get in a real conversation. No, because all, all women have had conversations if I had a big old ass. We didn't know exactly what we are going to do with it. Oh, yeah. Little, mm-hmm. we, all, we know exactly what we are going to do gonna with do? it. What you going to do? I'm going to let you say it. Throw it throw it back. I'm probably going to make a couple of twerk videos. I ain't going to lie. Hell yeah, I'm going to be That's on Twitter. It. I'm, just, I'm, I'm gonna be on Twitter making them videos y'all was talking about. Hell oh, yeah. make make that ass clap. Okay, it's that's gonna, not all. It ain't y'all gonna, gonna sound. Do, like, it ain't gonna sound like no regular clap. So it's, it's gonna, gonna be that Rob Four Nine. Make the clap. No, it's gonna be. Nah, it's gonna sound like a, kin- a kindergarten graduation. <laughs> that's how my ass gonna clap. God damn. So severely <laughs> all yeah. over the fucking place. Everybody clapping. <laughs> Hell yeah. No, claps everywhere. Kindergarten graduation. <laughs> <laughs> kindergarten right. graduation. Claps everywhere. Bro, I'm crying. But no, like, all right, so this is the thing. You know, like, if somebody, first off, he's joking, right, clearly. Like, that's that's a joke. He's saying that in jest. You Mm -hmm. know, ha, ha, ha. But, like, I mean, if you put $20,000, I'm losing it. It's 2023 at this point. How much that ass cost then? Man, you can get BBL for about five, six grand. Five grand. That's a lot. That's a used car. That's an Altima. It ain't no used car. He put an Altima in that ass. Ten grand if you're doing it in the States. Yeah. See, he but if you, he put you to Doctor you know, Miami. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But di- all right, let me ask y'all this: mm-hmm. If you was to get one, do you really think you would know what to do with it? Yes, yeah. I know the powers behind that ass. You fucking right. If well, I don't know, I'm gonna learn. Low key, I'm delu- I Low key, I think I got a fat ass now. I'm delusional <laughs> as fuck. So you can't. When tell you me. walked by me, you did say, I, "Excuse me for all this ass." Excuse me with all this ass. Thank I you. Was I got like, a fuck. <laughs> I'll just wag and I'm dragging. <laughs> so, yes, I know exactly what I would do with that ass. Because I do it now. Like I said, okay. if I don't know, I'm going to figure it out. That's real. Yeah. Like, so, I want to have a deep. Can can I can I go a little deep? Yeah. Just a little deep. Yeah. We ain't got to go too deep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, go for But it. I feel like every woman that I personally know mm-hmm. that's done that, mm-hmm. it's some psychological issues afterwards. Really? Because most of the time, mm-hmm. they still got the same confidence as they had before. Mm. So you just going, you got this whole new mm-hmm. body, whole new world, <laughs> just to keep fucking the same niggas mm. from before. Uh, she got a BBL, not a uh, new brain. <laughs> <laughs> not, not a lobotomy. <laughs> it's a <little> bomba. <laughs> <laughs> but when, like, w- then what's your... Uh, I guess I want to understand, like, what's what's the point in doing it then, if that's the case? If you're going to fuck with the same niggas. Mm-hmm. I think some people do get it to elevate to different niggas. But some people just want, like... Some you just people, want a little ass? You just want a little ass. Okay. I mean, yeah. a, a little ass. You get a skinny BBL. Like, I feel when we first got introduced to BBLs, they was all, like... Huge. Big crap. ass booties. Mm-hmm. And then... But they're skinny BBLs. You know what I'm saying? You some women want the dramatic bit. effects. Mm-hmm. Like, there's options out here, okay. you know? So you can go in there like a haircut, just be like, let me get a yeah. number two. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. Hell let me get a Cardi. Man. Let me get a Summer Walker. Let me get a Bernice. Let me get a Drea. Uh, let me, yeah, let me get a Bernie. That's what you say. Let me let me get that. Yeah. I want that body. Let me get a me real understand. booty Judy. Wh- whoever. Okay. Booty Judy. Yeah. All right. Super friend. I, I definitely would know what to do with that ass. Yeah, I'm going to know too. But, real you know, quick. lucky day. Mm-hmm. Of course, the internet wouldn't be the internet if they didn't, you know, remind him of his real realities. Oh, mm-hmm. shit. So someone said, could put an air tag on your kid's book bags, but <laughs> you'd actually have to see them. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody else said, Damn. the only BBL you need to worry about is book bags and lunch boxes. Damn. Jeez. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's, back in April. Mm-hmm. After Lucky Day won his first Grammy, mm-hmm. his, the mother of his child it's always called him out for being a deadbeat and said he do not pay no child support and he do not take care of his baby. I didn't know Lucky had a kid. Mm, lucky didn't want you to know he had a kid. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> he was hiding the, the kid from the world. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hiding the world from, from the his kid. kid. I didn't. Wow. Not. He was hiding himself from the kid. <laughs> <laughs> Fast. I don't, it's something about finding out 
it's certain things that I find about a man that I'd be like, oh, same. It'll just completely yes. turn off. And then, okay, so this is random, but I I had seen yesterday they said Brent Fias is funky. Girl, I saw that too, and I was just like, that girl said, when I find <laughs> you, I'm putting you in the bath. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But he I can like kind of see. Nigga, though. He don't look the cleanest. He look. He like, don't look the cleanest. He no. look like a every few day kind of bath. No towel, hands. Oh, hand shit. only. Hands to the soap. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hands soap wash ratio. Hell yeah. Yeah. He, uh, he might put this, He either. might put body wash. He right only in washes balls. That's all he washes. The shaft. Yeah. No, the, or he goes around the shaft a couple of times. It's giving it. hoe bath. Very much. It's giving very much hope. Mm. Hope professionals. <laughs> I don't. He don't. He just don't. He look like he a little mercy to me. Little mercy. Yeah, and try to cover it up with some nice cologne. Axe. Yeah, I'm not ex. Juke. Juke. Ex. Not juke. Ba- not not cologne. Body spray. Not curve. Curve. Yeah, Bod. Not, not bod. Bod. <laughs> Damn. Old Spice. Brent Look Fires, what you've I done. Not Old Spice. You made a sexy man out of my son. <laughs> Yeah, no, I can see Brent being musty Hell too. Yeah, I can't lie. It's, yeah, when I hear of a man not taking care of his kids, or a man who be musty, I just be like, mm. all right. I the fantasy I have for you is is dead and gone. You yeah. fantasized about Brent Fires? Oh hell, hell yeah. yeah, with his toxic ass. I promise, what? Brent fine and a bitch. He just don't I'm look gonna, clean. I'm not gonna say fine. He's attractive. No, he's, no, he's fine. He's very fine. He's I okay. never understand what women like in men. Just like, just period, like. I'll be honest. I like. I think Biggie fine. All right, you went right. too far. <laughs> 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 I mean, I, feel, I think I think Jay Z fine. All right, but I also like ugly niggas. So, like the ugly, uh, like ugly, nigg- ugly Are you sure it's niggas. It's not money. No, ugly. Because com- you're not naming an ugly. Come on, face. I like I like ugly confident niggas. It's the confidence I Bruh, like. Hey man, listen. That's what it is. It's one nigga. Mm-hmm. Mm. That what? nigga man, listen. He will shoot at anybody. For real? Because he he ain't got nothing to lose. Right. Yeah. And he used to being told no. Yeah. Like what you got to lose? Hell yeah. You know, you medium ugly, you be like, man, you know what? I ain't even gonna say nothing. Right. For shit. I mean, but like, damn, bro, like Biggie. Mm-hmm. I mean, Hove, Hove ain't the worst. I mean, I guess because we used to looking at the nigga now, like mm-hmm. you know, now you, used nigga, to look at the nigga you know, now. a nigga grow on you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> okay. not Hove done grew on you. Know, Hove, Hove done grew on you. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But big, like it was not the appearance. I just like Biggie's swag. That's what it is. His mm-hmm. swag makes him attractive to me. Got gotcha. you. So it was never like the looks or anything like that. But it definitely his swag. But I, I do really like big gorilla niggas. Like. That's always been my thing. Even mm. my first big old, big old black nigga. Big yeah, but <laughs> shaky melanin nigga. It's not Biggie, like no, he wasn't Biggie, but he was big and black and kind of like that shit. Whew, like me a civil back. Man. Yes. <laughs> Gotta cool you down over yeah, there. Hell yeah, she she having flashbacks and shit. She That's forgot like, the other story she told us about him. <laughs> I didn't forget now. Stupid. I didn't forget. Damn, so that make ooh, <laughs> damn. I'm not even I'm a Damn, did I say too up damn, you know so I go too far, bro. I didn't forget, but I'm just saying that was one of the anyway. <laughs> <laughs> before people start putting, the before start, people start putting two and two together. All right. It is what it is. All right. Yeah, no. I mean, <laughs> when it comes to men. Honestly, a man can get pretty far just based upon how he treats me. Mm, love it. Yeah, you know, I mm. could be like, oh, okay, yeah, you know, like, he might not be the cutest, but, like, he treat me right. Have you ever dated someone that wasn't cute? Yes. Did you think he was cute later? Yes, I fell in love with him based on how he treated me. I'm trying to think who wasn't cute. Psh, don't get me started. She... <laughs> <laughs> John. <laughs> Jason, cause that nigga there. Yeah, <laughs> and then once they start treating me like I'm ugly, now we got a problem. <laughs> now it's time to go. Yeah, now now we got an issue. Hold on, nigga. Cause yeah, you, cause nigga, you just got a little too confident. Thank nigga. you. What we not gonna do yeah, yeah. with your ugly ass? Your ugly ass. If you will tell a nigga about him being <laughs> having this gay experience, you definitely gonna tell that nigga oh, yeah. ugly about his ugly. Yeah, I'm gonna be like, oh yeah, yeah, you're not even cute enough to act like that. You need to change it. You need to. Yeah, get your attitude. Because you're, 
You're acting like you look here. Yes. And you look. To the, <laughs> to the dough. Yes. No. Hell no. So, so funny. yeah, just based on how a man can treat me, like, that'll really get you pretty far. Um, but the other stuff, I just be. I done, I done met some fine ass niggas. Attitude terrible. Mm-hmm. They be boring. Yeah, because you ain't. It's like, you know, hey, man, I'm cute. Look at me. Like, Facts. Or they be then, weird. Yeah. Corny. They be real weird. But you know, ugly niggas, they got to get creative. They have you got to build be a personality. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah personality. You just walk in the mirror. You know what? You better get you a personality, nigga. Yeah, for real. Because, I mean, that really. Learn how to dress. Not even, like, if you be fun, funny and have a personality, it will take you so much further. You could really be broke. That's why when men be like, a black man ain't loved if he ain't got no money. The fuck? Y'all been loved. The fuck? I got <laughs> Them <laughs> niggas <laughs> seem like they be loved the most. God damn, I'm man. No, you. four facts. I, lo- I, that's sh- look. I love. They always got somebody. They always in a relationship. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Always. No problem. Always in a relationship. Because, the, I mean, they, they have, they, I think it's just like cultivating what you, you know, you have to like bring more to the table. Like when you broke or ugly you know you have to just bring more to the table you can't yeah, i feel like at our big age big age you know it, it's it's time out for all of that like you mm-hmm. gotta have something like something else i don't understand how men get upset when women say if the nigga ain't got a car he ain't got a, a place to stay he can't even talk to me i'm like yo <laughs> that is the bare I'm minimum i'm telling you the bar's in hell that is right, like yeah person existing like literally you just want up. an adult you, yes you cross 25 you can come fuck with me yes I guess. like what the f- that, that is like is- just basic grown-up shit and it's like damn <laughs> I, because i ask of that like it's a problem you, you know your standards is too high yeah like damn you I, should really dial it back a little bit <laughs> it's like damn back. what am i supposed to do i mean where am i supposed to go shit i mean you can come over here and chill <laughs> You know, and that, and that be the thing. We Everybody can, want to come over there and chill. We can drink and mm-hmm. vibe. I'm, oh yeah, we can niggas, vibe. And, and everybody got a different definition of vibe. Some of it is fucking, and, and vibing definitely means Ain't fucking. No some of it. <laughs> All of it means fucking. <laughs> All of it's fucking. Bro, okay, this is completely off topic. Has anybody seen the Barney doc? Mm-mm. I just heard about that shit. No. Okay, I so I watched it. I won't. I won't spoil it for y'all because it's fucking crazy. But um, the dude that played the body of Barney, he's like a tantric healing something. Oh shit! So they were riding around with him, and he's like, "Yeah, you know, it's all about like you know fixing the feminine energy and all this stuff." So the dude was interviewing him was like, and then afterwards you sleep with them, and he was like, "Not all." <laughs> And Straight I was up. like, bro, so you a prostitute? He's like, man, that's how I reel him in. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's how I reel Talk him about in. your yes. feminine energy. Yes, yeah, yeah. I was but like, that would get me. It might get me. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, Talk- I can be feminine around you. <laughs> yes, I'm. And then a light, light touch. Not a light touch. <laughs> yes. He touched the insides. <laughs> <laughs> Crying. It really don't. I we had to come. It don't. It, it don't take much. In that aspect, like it's especially you up close and whispering feminine energy and shit and like caresses. Embrace your feminine energy. Hell yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna embrace you in a second. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna show you what this BBL can do. <laughs> Bro, I'm crying. Yeah, no, oh, see, man. me wouldn't happen. He'd be in my ear. Oh, your energy. <laughs> Can, can you stop? <laughs> what it take for you? Oh, because you said it's how he treats you, like how he get there. Yeah, but he has to treat me like over a certain time frame. Mm. Then I'll be like, oh, okay, you know what? Like I actually kind of fuck with him. But no, it can't be a nigga treat me right on first night, and I'm like, oh, this is it. Like no. So what it take be for consistent. you? Like what? What? Oh, okay, consistency. Yeah, consistency. But yeah. just like me meeting with a tantric whatever, nah, nigga. The fuck? First of all, I probably wouldn't even be there. Yeah. <laughs> nigga. Being honest. You weird. Yeah, being honest. I'd be like, yeah, nah, I think I might be cool. Because I'd be like, yeah, no, you're going to try to fuck me. I don't have time for that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you, you got me pegged right. I mean. <laughs> but you over there quiet as hell. Quiet as hell. Because you already. Because she like, shit, and I'm fucking. I had to look. Do you want to share? 
fine. I will. I don't care. I got a massage and I fucked him. Okay. Oh. I got a massage and I fucked him. He fucked me. Okay. It wasn't planned. It wasn't planned. What did he say? He didn't say nothing. It was a touch. It was a touch. It was Tempted a t- to touch. <laughs> Tempted to touch. <laughs> Damn. Do I tell the whole? No, you don't have to tell the whole thing. You ain't got to tell the whole thing. I, I, I just want the highlights. Um, <laughs> so the massage actually did start off with a massage at first. Mm-hmm. It was in my home. And um, he was like, just be comfortable. So I was smoking while I was getting massaged. And originally, I had on my underwear still. Because I'm, I'm still, I'm like, I don't want to just take everything off. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So I had on my underwear. You shouldn't be going there anyway. Yeah, I'm like, you know. Right. At, Professional. You know, yeah. That part. Um, Professional-ish. And, and then it was like. It was close to being done, and um, he pulled he pulled my panties down to like get to a certain area, not to do anything else. But at that point, I was already I was already with it, so I just started putting them down. <laughs> <laughs> she started pecking them off for him. And he's like, hey, hey, hold on, hold on. <laughs> she started arching yeah, her back. Yeah, yeah, she lifted her, she lifted her, her hips up. <laughs> That is literally what happened. Um, oh, bro! I I started pulling them down. He's like, "Oh, you don't have to." I was like, "They already coming off. It's fine." And it is what it is, baby. And that w- that was really it. And it it oh happened. My goodness. It was amazing. I I wouldn't do it again though, because I feel at that point I feel like I'm paying for sex. Like I feel like I paid for the massage and the sex was a part of it. A part so of the it. massage should have been free at that point, right? <laughs> 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 oh damn! Then he got his deposit. And that's it. I didn't. Um. Yeah. <laughs> you gonna give an ad for him? You want? <laughs> nah, hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. You're right. Finna yeah. text that nigga now. No. Well. <laughs> oh shit! Bruh. The nigga double back. No. Well, I I thought about trying to, and then the nigga hit me with the. You know. I'm yeah, married, I knew you'd right? be here. Yeah, with a, like a a fee schedule. I'm like, oh no! Nah, I thought we was gonna have fun. Like I don't even want the massage. You just you would bring the table, but I don't need it. <laughs> you can bend me over it. I mean, man, you can, no, she said you can bring the table, but I don't table, need it. I don't even need it. We got other shit. But I, I, afterwards, I did. I I did feel like I was like, damn, I really just let this man fuck me over his table. How am I, knowing he probably doing this too? You know what I'm saying? Lots of other people. And then I kept watching his videos. I'm like, this is same. Like fuck, this is same. You know how many dicks they suck every night, and then you want to go down there. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, so yeah. Where did he get you? Like, when did you know that you was about to fuck him? When I took my panties off. That was it? So it was just in that split decision? I think once I took him off, he knew and I knew. Right. Well, Because the massage was almost over. Like, this was towards the end. I got my whole 60 minutes now. It was a full massage, but... I think when I slid my panties off, like we both knew what it was, and mm. then like he just commenced to you can unplug the tree doing <laughs> a yon, a yoni massage first. Wait, wait, oh, a yoni it's massage. It's a, a coochie massage. I, I get that, yeah. but like I'm trying to figure out what what he massage. How, how did I mean? Go? It was just there first, and then you know gradually, like I guess because I didn't like stop stop him. It was consensual. Okay, let me of just say course. that it was very consensual. Yeah. But I think once he started doing that, and like you know, I didn't tell him to stop. He's like, you, you need the extra. I was like, yeah, and that was it. You need the extra. Yeah, you need. That's the extra. what he called it. You need, you need, you you need this. It's look, basically look, like you. Look what I was he like, thinks yeah. of his meat, huh? Look what he thinks of his meat extra. Well, the meat wasn't even. I'll say this, okay? The meat didn't even get involved till later. It was all about me. That's one thing I do appreciate. Mm. Like it was the meat didn't get, and I actually involved the meat myself. <laughs> mm. I, I like I put that dick out. Stop playing. <laughs> That's how. Put that dick out for me, boy. Out. That's how I went. That's a little. All right. <laughs> Let me tell, like, Stop I, I don't know about other men, mm-hmm. but like for me, that's almost like a turn off. I'm like, ooh, don't talk to me like that. <laughs> you want to be treated? You want to be treated like, like a lady? You know, like, yeah, you, you know, know you gotta be little, gentle you, with you. Yeah, you flirt, you know? flirt with me a I little mean, bit. It was already out. Pull but... your dick out. Pull your dick out, nigga. <laughs> Wait with a that minute, out, nigga. You <laughs> quit <laughs> fucking playing with me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't sound like Glow saying it. Don't play, draws, play with it. Don't play with it. I didn't sound like Glow saying it, but it, it was draws, it was just very. <laughs> Come drop this dick off, nigga. Yeah, it, yeah. it was just very. It, it was like we we both knew what was happening at that yeah. point, and it was cool. It was it was great. It was great. It was. 
It You're the it. best podcaster in the world. Why? I I I had not wanted. I I've been holding that in. I know for a se- for several months. I know. Oh, this is recent. <laughs> 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 this was this was on my birthday. Yeah. When your birthday? Don't give out too much. I'm a Virgo. Now that'll tell you a little bit. Damn. That's how recent it was. Virgo. The Virgo. nigga that took you to the birthday dinner was like, I didn't know that this was on the table. Goddamn. <laughs> Well, <laughs> well, I well. Mean, the crazy thing is, somebody I talked to gave me his information. But did they know he did that? Yes, yes. They knew he did that. Oh, so you knew that he did that? I knew that there was a potential of that. The massage I picked was the central massage. I knew I was probably gonna have a dick on me, but I didn't know I was gonna have a dick in me. She thought he was just gonna get on the bed, on the table, and slide his dick across her back. Mm-hmm. So is that? <laughs> oh, so so okay, all right, okay. Yeah. I'm thinking this you is know, massage niggas, envy type shit. No, like, she thought she was gonna get hunched. Yeah, I thought mm. I was definitely going to, I, I knew, he, he, that, that's what he do, you know what I'm saying? Oh, so okay. I don't, I don't think he does it to everybody. Gotcha. You don't want him to do it to everybody. Shit. You hope he don't do don't it to Don't lie to yourself, man. Now, I know, when I left, I was like, damn, he do this to everybody. Hell yeah. That's what he, was like, he do this to everybody. Hell yeah. But like. Hold on, and now let's go into the nigga who set this up. What kind of nigga is he? He didn't set it up. He just gave, Referral. he referred me to him. I'm not referring no other nigga that could potentially fuck my girl. Well, I'm not his girl. <laughs> I don't give. And if my dick goes in there, uh-huh. ain't ain't no possibility, and I'm giving the layup. <laughs> this part, he put it at the rim. Niggas is different. If, this nigga very different. Uh. Like this nigga a little different. Like yeah. this nigga is a little different. So oh, okay. it it wasn't he in the lifestyle or some shit. That part. Oh, okay. All right. That part makes completely sense. That yeah, part. he probably know the nigga. He probably got him aside from. <laughs> <laughs> he probably gayed. <laughs> <laughs> you know that's what she like. Nigga just sliding this nigga across his back. <laughs> Hey, hey, get the sensual. Get the sensual massage. I heard, I heard, I heard that whole good, I man. Heard, I don't, man. I don't, I heard he be coming through with that sensual. I don't think he services men, um, but even so, I don't think this nigga gayed him and got the experience <laughs> he, of the sensual He ain't been gayed? I don't think, I, I think, I, because I said it, you know what I'm saying? I was like, I would get a, like, the conversation came up, so I think that's why he gave it to me. I don't mm. even know if he thought I would actually use it. I don't even know if he know I used I it. I wouldn't have brought that shit up. Hell no. Well, I wouldn't not either. Me. I would have been afraid that I'm they were going to like text afterwards and be like, yeah, bro, I hit hey, it. Hey, yeah, nigga. Yeah, bro, I got it, man. It's shit, shit straight. Don't test me. I'm going to fail. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to fucking fail. Don't test, don't test my loyalty. That's so funny. Especially if we're not together. Oh, baby, I'm going to fail. Yeah. I'm going to fail. But hey, um, thanks. That's an experience. Thanks for um, a good time. Thanks for, thanks for letting everyone know. Well, you didn't let you everyone know. You know what? Yeah. She did, but it was the inference. You know, you were over there. She was whole, like. <laughs> She could not hold yeah, that. Yeah, I was like, you want to say something? <laughs> I was thinking about the other stuff. We were like, I'm a fuck. And I was like, I ain't going to say nothing. Like, cause Think about what other stuff? No, that's okay. Um, what's, are we talking that's about Lucky you Day? Years. Yeah, so back to Lucky Suri? Day. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, you sure. said back to Suri. Suri. Sure. Y'all, I'm not crazy because as soon as I said it on Instagram, bunch of people hit me up and they were yeah. like yeah bro like mm-hmm. she was definitely giving i ain't seen black panther yet what the new one. i've seen it twice you seen have it? you seen it yeah I, what'd you I, think what you waiting on <laughs> right um, <laughs> uh if y'all want my honest opinion mm-hmm. uh i thought it was great until she spared the nigga life so you think she should have killed him yes Spoiler alert. Machines. Yeah, clearly. I'm, yeah, facts. And I might not see it, so it's oh, okay. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. What, why? You got two babies and they ain't... They already seen it. Oh, they seen yeah, it. They seen it seen it. Okay. Yeah, they seen it already. Yeah, they went and seen it with their friends and stuff, so it ain't... Gotcha. I'm gonna go by myself. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Take the massage, It's good. Take <laughs> 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 the massage, nigga. <laughs> now he gonna wanna charge me, God damn it. That's yeah, no. I charge 35 for dates. Girl, you know, he gonna lay that recliner back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be like it's your turn. Yeah, yeah, facts. Mm. I got a large popcorn. <laughs> no, like, he was sticking dick through the popcorn. <laughs> you have a hole at the bottom. <laughs> she gonna look like she bobbing for apples. Yeah. <laughs> I like I, I like popcorn, man. Oh my god, I, I can find it. It ain't beneath me. Ew, I'm crying. I can find oh. it. I'm fucking crying. Yeah, but, but yeah, no, nah, I, I thought that she should have killed the nigga. 
and I'm gonna go super deep probably with this when I thought about it. I was like, man, black people always gotta show mercy. Damn, like, we always gotta be the forgiving one. Like, yeah, nigga, for you. Real. Oh, damn, but nigga, he didn't show my none. mama. Yeah, nigga, he like, didn't show none of that. Yeah, damn, sorry, fool. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Like, I mean, it's okay. Yeah, straight drama. Damn, now he killed a like, mama and he spared his life. Yeah, her mama came to her and told her to show him yeah, who, who you are. are. Like as in kill him? No, no. just just who, who you, you really are. Because yeah. she was full of like rage. Yeah, mm. but that part, like when she became, and that nigga popped out. I was like, oh, because I thought, yeah, I thought T'Challa was gonna be there. The mama was gonna be well, there. We the knew daddy it couldn't was be gonna, T'Challa. But all right, not obviously there, but like maybe like a hand touching. Because you remember she was like. You know, it felt like I could. T- he was touching me on my shoulder. Yeah, I thought like something like that would happen, like mm-hmm. implying that he's there type thing. Right. And when that shit happened, I was like, Yeah, oh, yeah, that's who you really are. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, maybe I do need to watch nah, that it. Nah, that was good. Yeah, it, I thought it was good too. So, and the more uh, some motherfucking fine. Who? The more. <sighs> See, here we my go. My people again. call me Kuka Kuka. <laughs> My enemies called me no, no more. more. <laughs> Girl, you were fine, but they weren't nothing but mermaids. <laughs> they were some powerful ass mermaids. Man, though. they they had they was Them deep. Niggas there, boy. <laughs> they was deep as the ocean, child. Not cheap as the ocean. Boy, they knocked the they, fuck they out they of Mbaku. Wakanda ass. Wakanda Beat ass. The shit. Now, first off, now all <laughs> right. Winston Duke. Ooh. This is me getting like super uh thick super man. technical. Like so they should have been beat their ass. Cause like <laughs> they had them surrounded on the fucking boat. Yeah. She's still over here dealing like, man, make this scene shorter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, nah. That yeah. the that scene was a little they was getting their ass beat. They was getting their ass. The, the one thing I heard from about uh, Black Panther or whatever is not is that it's not about Black Panther. Like everyone said it's like a, it's like a movie you going to go see Superman, but it Superman ain't in it. Well, mm. I mean, I mean it's because not called they had Black to, Panther. Yeah, it's not actually called Black Panther. It's, it's called Wakanda, Wakanda forever. forever. Well, excuse the hell out of yeah. me. <laughs> I thought it was Black Panther too. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. No. Nah. So that makes sense. Okay, yeah, okay. but they were just a bunch of mermaids and oh, sirens. Mermaids. They really were. They were mermaids. And they was making their ass walk off the boat and shit. Hell yeah, because like, they were sirens. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Have y'all? Okay. I know this is random. Have y'all seen Wednesday? No, I keep hearing people no, talk my about wife it. My daughter watched this shit. But yeah, no. so they have sirens on there. I didn't know that siren. I didn't know that's what a siren was. Mm. I thought a siren was just a pretty girl. Mm-hmm. Oh no! But sirens have a song. Yeah, that's why it's yeah. called a siren song. Yeah. Shit! And that's why you can't look over there and you can't pay attention to them because they're gonna get you. Yeah, they'll get they your ass. That's a life lesson. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they hypnotize you. Really? Yeah, they mm-hmm. had them walking off the boat on, in Wakanda. When, oh damn! Mm-hmm. Damn. Okay. I'm I, but watch it. I thought to myself, I was like, damn, bro, like. This is the first time we're seeing mermaids really portrayed like this, and they're not like aerial. Nice. Yeah. Like these are like they look like some real shit mm-hmm. with fucking gills and shit. Like I was like, damn, bro. And it kind of explains like, damn, is is mermaids real? Like I think because so. this shit could have really you know yeah, what I'm like deep below the ocean. I mean, okay, but real talk, if we was gonna go there, if you ever watch some YouTube videos, mermaids don't look friendly. No, like, they look scary. That's what I'm saying. They look scary as fuck. They look like catfish. <laughs> With legs or some yeah. shit. Like, they don't look nice. Yeah, and no, they don't. Whatever else. So, I don't, I've don't. i never, like, y'all can be fooled by Ariel, but I've never <laughs> felt like a mermaid was nice and friendly and I want to swim with Yeah, one no, I, I don't think so either. I don't think a mermaid is nothing to play with. Yeah, no. And I think they really is out there. I think that there's a whole different, like, when you think about it, we've only seen, what, 20% of the ocean? Man, listen, they talk about space. I want to know what's in the motherfucking ocean. Because that's where the, that's where the that real shit is. That shit is here, because they motherfucking act could just be like. Yes. And any, like, any little real, you know, that Facebook try to get you to watch, if it got a whale in it, I'm going to watch it. So, right. Like, <laughs> it just show us how insignificant we are, because these Big motherfucking creatures mm-hmm. come swimming by you in a boat that could really just knock you. Like they could literally eat your whole boat yes, and you absolutely, and not think twice about it. Like yeah, just swim on about their day. Yeah, mm-hmm. for real. So they spare us. Thank they really you, do. Well. Appreciate it. I, th- well. I don't know if I said that on here, but I, I talk about the dude on Hell's Kitchen. I don't know. Okay, so I watch Hell's Kitchen. Right, the new season. There's a dude on there. He has like a really big scar across his forehead. 
So of course Chef Ramsey was like, "What happened?" Yeah. He was like, "Oh, uh, a great white swallowed me or something like that." Damn, some, Jonah. Some <laughs> whale. <laughs> or it was a whale or something, but he said it swallowed him, kept him in there for a little bit. All right. And spit him back out. All right. And that's how he got the scar on his nah, head. And Chef Ramsey was like, are you rolling. serious? He was like, no, I'm serious. But he said it was like whenever he was in the Navy. I ain't rolling. I mean, I I believe that could happen. I believe it too. People get spit out by whales or whales realize like, yeah, nah, I ain't you know fucking what? with that. ain't going down. <sighs> yeah, yeah, for real. It spit out. you out. And it cut him with his tooth. Uh, yeah, I'm right. guessing like his tooth cut him. But his Boy, like big... get you. <laughs> <laughs> now, if he lying. That nigga lying like a bitch. <laughs> That's a soldier boy story. That's what he said. That's a soldier boy <laughs> caliber story. <laughs> I looked at the nigga. Call me I Ishmael. knew who he was. I knew he, I shot the nigga. Pow. <laughs> the nigga. <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> the I, nigga, say I was swimming. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking through my goggles and then all of a sudden it was dark. <laughs> and I felt something warm around me. I was in that bitch by two weeks. <laughs> I was just eating the fish that he was swallowing. <laughs> I'm crying. Man. The fish that he didn't want. And man. then he was just like, man, fuck. You He's too, like, the, you whale, too of a nigga. the whale just kept saying, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, it couldn't digest me. <laughs> so that'll just spit me up. <laughs> and here I'm I am crying. on Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I'm, I'm just, look, I'm just telling y'all what the nigga said. That's a lot. Oh, where did yeah. it find him? That's a lot. <laughs> where did the whale find this nigga? Man. Because like whales can't even come up that, like close to the, the surface. It went People be grab swimming this far. Nigga. People oh. swim far out. That's true. If you go to the beach, people be way past the little line that they be But you know, them. the sand be up sanding, and down, you up know and down. Mm-hmm. People but. be far. Know, People be man. snorkeling and shit, like in deep ass water. Mm-hmm. And it uh, came got Scuba diving and stuff. How did he breathe? I, I don't think he didn't say it held him for days or nothing. I think he just said it just picked him up and it spit him out. It I have him heard about that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it ain't spit him that. It spit him home. Nah, I think he was like, I think he was like, man, you know what? I'm gonna help you out, my nigga. Come, come hop in, Not bro. Not blowhole. <laughs> Shot the nigga through the blowhole. <laughs> Oh, I'm Back crying. to the surface? I don't know. Oh, man. my God. I'm mad you said. That nigga was like, thanks. <laughs> yeah, he ain't spit him home. But, <laughs> no, but, okay, just like, okay, just thinking like when we in a cruise, and honestly, we found out the, the dirty secrets to cruises, like really they be going in circles with your oh, bitch yeah, ass. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, really could just sure. be there in a day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. But they really be going in a circle. But, like, just when you out there in the middle of the night. Yeah. And it's just pitch black pitch everywhere. You black, can't, you can't see, see shit. shit. And you, imagine there's something that can see in that hell yeah that's, that's what everything scared me that's your motherfucker hell man. yeah hell yeah. and the only thing you see is like ship uh, lights from other ships yeah that's what really you think it. is other lights or is it merman yeah, the, oh i don't know this one time we seen some shit that's flying across the water you remember that yeah i remember it's that. like back and forth I, like, I don't even want to know what it is i don't where give a y'all fuck was i don't give a fuck where did we go on that cruise cancun yeah I think. Probably can't Where the go. real niggas go? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Love from Galveston. Galveston. Hell yeah. Carnival. Carnival. The Hell dream. yeah, Carnival. It was the dream book. <laughs> Not the dream. Probably. It was probably the Carnival dream. Probably. Car- carnival out of Galveston only go to two places. Yes. Uh, Cozumel and It'll the It'll go Bahamas. a little further if you do seven. Yeah, if you do. Yeah. You still gonna hit? You gonna hit those? You yeah, gonna you hit still Yucatan? Gonna, you gonna go to Cozumel, Progresso? Cozumel, Progresso, yeah. Progresso, Yucatan. Maybe Haiti. <laughs> and then back again. <laughs> Shit funny though. I don't know, but yeah, yeah, that the water's me. scary though. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's really scary. That's why I was just like, "Fuck, bro, we really have no clue what's down there, and whatever is down there has an advantage because mm-hmm. <laughs> it's used to being down yeah, there." Yeah, but us it's on too the other cold hand, for us to go. Yeah, mm-hmm. the, the pressure. pressure is too hard. Like mm-hmm. you ain't getting down yeah. there. Yeah, what th- about what's up there though? Shit, that aliens. Shit cool. <laughs> <laughs> it, yeah, no, nah, for sure. Like, I guess I'm nonchalant, nonchalant, about, nonchalant about that. I mean, because <laughs> like nonchalant. you got to be an arrogant motherfucker to think that God only created us. Yeah, facts. Mm-hmm. There's so you know what I'm saying? Love. And there's so like there's other galaxies yes. that has other planets and other solar systems. Mm-hmm. Like we're not the only other planet. suns. Mm-hmm. We're not the only. We don't have the only ocean. Yeah, like we have one of millions of suns or moons. It's just crazy. I don't know. 
It, like yeah, that. I would just be thinking like, maybe I'd be getting too high. But you said like, any moment we could fall out the sky. You said what? Any moment, any moment we could fall out the sky. Oh, oh yeah. Like, cause they yeah. say our planet is a is a star. No, uh, not our planet. Well, I don't fuck. Like, right, the cool. sun is a star. Well, the sun could burn out and it could stop or fall. Yeah, Shit. I heard we're like inching closer to the sun. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah! It was what six seventy degrees something today. Yesterday. Yesterday. Hell yeah, that was. It was odd. cold in the bitch today. Though. It was cold yes. in the bitch today, and it's gonna get. Cold. We don't have another cold front, but next week will probably ninety degrees again. Oh no, the, this weekend it's in the seventies. Yeah, make up your mind. Hey, well, that's how you know we get global closer. warming. Yeah, I about to say, can't nobody say global warming is not real. Didn't they say that? Uh, my sister, she goes to school in D.C. She was like, yeah, it was like eighty degrees recently in D.C. In I'm like, bro, it's supposed to be snowing right now in D.C. Yeah, it's crazy. It's almost December. Yeah, but. Yeah, I don't know how we got here from Lucky Day, but welcome <laughs> to Hear You Podcast. You know what I'm saying? The home, of the tan- home of the tangents. Home of the tangents. Period. Let's home go ahead and go on over to our tangents. last topic. Oh, shit. I forgot we had one more. Yeah, we do. All right. Uh, let's do 100 rounds. Okay. August Alcina. Gay! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. No. Uh, Jada. <laughs> Nola. Will. Damn. Uh, Will. Uh, what's the little, what's the nigga name? His His friend. How she introduced him. The son. What's his name? Oh, Jaden. Jaden. Oh, Jaden introduced them? Yeah. Ooh. They was friends. First. Oh, imagine that nigga start fucking your mama. Man, listen. Cougar. Oh, oh. oh I love this shit. Keep my wife's name <laughs> out your fucking... <laughs> Alopecia. Damn. Damn, bro. All right, let's leave it there. <laughs> I can Damn. say it. <laughs> you <gonna> shut up. <laughs> I can say it. Shut up, fam. <laughs> God, Lee. Damn, bro. Yeah. My Ooh. bad. All right. So August recently was kissing on- my tattoos. <laughs> Damn, I forgot about that. <laughs> August was recently on some. I don't know if it was a TV show. It had to be. It was something. Oh, it's a TV show called The Surreal Life. Y'all remember The Surreal Life mm-hmm. from was, back in the day? It was Paris. I know CeeLo was on that bitch. And wasn't uh, was Paris Hilton on there? <laughs> no, you thinking about um, oh her and Nicole? Her and they Nicole. show. What okay. was I the wasn't the white lady that Flav, Flav was in love with? Mm. Wasn't she on some Bridget real life? Nielsen? Yeah, yeah Bridget Nielsen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I got. I don't keep. Wasn't Flav on there? Flavor was on there. That's yeah. how he got his show, right? I feel like that's how he. You might that's be where on. You might from. be on to something. Yeah, mm. I feel like it. I'm low key getting a vibe. Yeah. So, well, August Alcina was recently, you know, doing his little candid interview. Yeah, you know, they took him into the confessional. And August begins talking about, you know, how he's met somebody who's really showed him Aww. the definition of love. And mm. this is what love looks like. And this love is, you know, it's unconventional. Mm. But this is what he, the love looks like for him. It's a different kind of love. It's a different kind of love. And he tells he tells his love to come out. He comes out. The niggas dap each other up. <laughs> kiss me. <laughs> kiss me, whole ass nigga. <laughs> and August introduces us to his boyfriend, mm-hmm. who looks like him. Yeah. We were crying earlier because we called him a treacherous <laughs> twin. <laughs> He's a treacherous little twin. He's my treacherous little twin. Oh, man. Damn. That they nigga do. took that Kendrick, I love myself. <laughs> Well, all folks, they, they, they kind of like favor. They kind of favor. Hell yeah, they've been around each other a long time. Yeah. <laughs> well, y'all like one of them old couples. Y'all start looking <laughs> alike. Hell yeah. Oh, that's an urban trivia question. Ooh. Mm, look Ooh. at you. There you go. That's how we come up with them. Dude. Really? Shit Random like that. shit. Ooh, we're definitely gonna talk about that because I want to hear some more questions. Mm-hmm. And all that stuff. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <He's> like, <"Uh-uh." laughs> But you know, Get we were talking. Some of us were saying that you know we didn't know if August really gave off. Gave off. I said gay off. Gay, gay off. <laughs> gave off. Gave off. Gave off. Gave vibes. vibes. Uh-huh. Or if it was just like you know, mm-hmm. his tantra partner. Tantra partner. I mean, you see the way that he acted out with. Oh, damn! This give the Tory Lane shit a whole new perspective. Mm. You don't know about Tory Lane? Yeah, he maybe he walked him. by and like, gas yes, nigga. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Facts. I don't know, like 
I don't feel like Tori on that. No, no shit like that. But t- I mean, Tori the one popped it off though. That's what I'm saying. Like yeah. maybe Tori just like man, gay ass. Man. Yeah, whenever August like him, ignored him. That's and like man, I, I ain't finna let that gay ass nigga come. Oh uh, yeah, I, finna, I, I didn't want to dap your gay ass yeah. up anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I, okay, and probably Damn, it, I that's know. a good point. No, no. And, but in that case, where was his boyfriend when Tori was beating his ass? Boyfriend, where, you, <laughs> where he was at when Santa Claus whooped my ass with that tree? <laughs> <laughs> like, where was he? Oh, man, that should have been two on one right there. <laughs> Facts. They should have. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Windmiller like a. <laughs> I mean, Tori, all of five two. Hell yeah! I feel, I feel like you give him a little bit. With Damn, that. five foot. I, he might. He may be five two. I, I give Tori I, five two. I, I give him five four at that. Five, I don't four. think. I think five four is giving him too much. Damn. I feel like. I feel like he can give him five four. Watch him be but five yeah. seven. <laughs> Six eight. <laughs> <laughs> we know he ain't that fucking tall. Tori go cranking up his legs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not cranking up. He's five three. Damn. Damn. <laughs> That's little nigga, little nigga, little nigga, little nigga. <laughs> little nigga. Damn, that nigga talented though. He is All talented. That talent in that little ass body. Big <laughs> yeah. oh, yeah. ass head. Yeah, that little ass body. That's Facts. funny. Ow. But damn, man. I mean, you know, I guess at some point, like it's hard to hold down who you really are. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. at some point, you know, your real self mm-hmm. got to come out, and some sometimes it just be like. A dap up, kiss me, nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I feel like me, most nigga. niggas, like, when they do it, it's a, a longing look. You know, they look long and they just go in. You know what I'm saying? Wait, what you mean? Like, y'all just be, like, staring in each other's eyes and that's how it happened. Wait, you saying for the two niggas? Yeah. For the first, <laughs> for time, the first time? Yeah. They just playing Madden and they're like. I think they wrestle. Let me call a timeout. I think they wrestle. call a timeout. Fam. <laughs> I think, she they said, wrestle. I think they wrestle. <laughs> no, niggas definitely wrestling. <laughs> Nick, listen, wrestling naked. Listen, <laughs> listen. Next, next thing, next thing Dennis, I It's either wrestling or naked twister. L- Dennis. <laughs> Dennis. Has a nigga ever wrestled with you? <laughs> Dennis, you can answer that truthfully. <laughs> Fam, if a nigga <laughs> wrestle with you, no. <laughs> a we got a motherfucker. No, a n- nigga ain't never wrestled with hell you. Hell no. I don't, I don't believe that. that. <laughs> I don't so believe you think that. we just sitting up here and then just? <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah. niggas rough house. Hell bro. no. Yeah, I think niggas rough house. Hell yeah. And I think it'd be like, man, chill out, bro. Chill out, bro. Hey, bro, bro. And and, and a lot, all of y'all watch chill, fucking bro. WWE. Bro, chill. And so you just hug them, slam them. Yeah, down. y'all be in there trying to DDT. We each said other it, we said it went from chill out, bro, to bro, chill. <laughs> To, ooh, bro, we chill. shouldn't be doing bro, this, bro. Chill, bro. <laughs> ooh, Hell bro. no. Don't make it stop. Stop, bro. Don't stop, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro. That's got. Oh, no. Hell yeah. For real. Oh man. Man, all y'all watch WWE. Y'all niggas was wrestling. Nah, we wasn't wrestling, bro. We're doing flips. <laughs> nah, yeah, we might do some flips. Doing flips. Jump on the bed. Doing and flips. Shit turn, like that. Doing, doing flips. Turning the head. <laughs> Doing flips turn into head? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you flip me, you flip me what up. do y'all think about us? <laughs> that, flip, that dick flopping. <laughs> so then let's talk about y'all and y'all girl night. Shit. Y'all she, be bumping That's why my cats. mama wouldn't let me spend the night nobody else. Oh, <laughs> hell yeah. Damn, cause she mama knew. Like, you gonna wake up, she gonna be eating you out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just being honest. And I, and I definitely... And, um, Where are we going with this? No, low key, me and my homegirl, we was like in elementary school. Mm. Like that's how we pop shit off. So I guess I have been a woman because she's actually gay, gay now. Like she very she masculine presenting at the moment. Damn, but we were popping it off. I'm gonna be completely honest. Mm-hmm. I had what turned into a gay best friend when I was a kid, mm-hmm. and we never wrestled rough house. <laughs> And that nigga gay as fuck now, like like <laughs> gay, gay gay. Did you know? Like, I mean, it's like you knew that, like eventually, like you know, probably, but he hadn't had them experiences mm-hmm. at that Maybe time. Maybe it was beard. And no, uh, I'm talking about like third, fourth grade. Like, oh, that's yeah, yeah, that's young. like you know, and he's always been the same person, like cool as fuck, like like one of the. If you go out with that nigga, you're going to have a good time. Right. Like, regardless. You know what I'm saying? And, like, 
it's just like we ain't never like that ain't never crossed our fucking minds at um, least I crossed like, mine I and like i don't think niggas. it's no man that's, i don't I don't know. Maybe we'll have to actually talk to a gay man and, and see, see how, how that happened. popped off. But I think, it, but it can't be one of those like, cause you know, some like I really do think people are born gay. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, like me too. and so like there's some that's like that's just in them like mm-hmm. from the beginning. Mm-hmm. But like I'm talking about like these niggas that may be like you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. oh boy, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. Like how did that happen? Like how did you? How did the first time this like, experiment him? Yeah, cause like. One, niggas don't even talk like that to even, like, we don't even be open like that to really just even mm-hmm. tell you that this was on my mind. I like, mean, but niggas be on drugs, too. Man, them niggas was not on drugs back then. I mean, like, niggas be on, oh, I'm talking, are y'all talking about August and his boyfriend? Nah, just just in general, in general, in general? now. Like, how, because how, she's saying like that we just be wrestling and then the <laughs> dick slipping you. I don't know how that happens. I feel like there'd be some, there'd be some influences there. I mean, if it's okay, if it's not drugs, maybe alcohol. I'm not even gonna say that. I I feel like all it takes is like a a, a heavy pet, because that's what it took for me and old girl. It was heavy petting at first. Petting. Petting, heavy petting on top of clothes, and then it was under clothes. You know what mm. I'm saying? And that that was it, because clearly we didn't know what we was doing, but it was. Not y'all was in there scissoring. Bumping cat. <laughs> and how Bump old? Cat. I was probably. Probably like 10, 11. I think yeah. y'all should scissor. <laughs> <laughs> Bump your bitches pussy. I think y'all should scissor. I think y'all should scissor. We were just like, but we, it, well, we said like, I'm the mom when you the daddy. So it was like uh, doing that type oh, of thing. Okay, so okay, okay, like, okay. I mean, but I knew she, so knew role she playing. was. Hell yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. So I guess that was my first time. <laughs> I'm crying. I had my first experience when I was 10. That's funny. That's, that's crazy. It, that's it though. But I, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I like you, dog. I like you too. <laughs> Let's kiss. I, I don't think I don't it's know. like that. Yeah. I, but I do. I think it happens a lot more than we think. I'm sure. Clearly, it does. Like. <laughs> I mean, cause I can see like you. But this is this is my mindset, right? Mm-hmm. You hang around anything for long enough, you start to care about it. Of course. And it can be a human being too. <laughs> like it, it yeah, have the same boy. sex. <laughs> yeah, but okay. Like I care about Dennis. I don't want to fuck him. Like, but you might want to fuck Dennis if you hung out with him every day for no. forty-five days. You might want to fuck Dennis if y'all were in the bed together. No, yeah. <laughs> and, you, and you looked over and he had his morning wood. You're like, damn, bro. <laughs> Fam, impressive, <laughs> sensational. <laughs> Hell no, <laughs> no. Like, I, I, think that, I think that's how it should maybe be popping off because, like, I feel like kids like sleep in bed together. Mm-hmm. So you yeah. probably in bed with your homeboy and you're like, damn, nigga. Do you know how many times <laughs> I've slept back to back with a nigga? You like, wasn't back to back all night. Hell yes. Yeah. You might cuddle. <laughs> Fuck no. Y'all might spoon. That's yeah. Never happened. On accident. No, nigga. Hey, like, bro. No, bro. Like, w- like when you kids, you go spend the night at somebody's house. You like feet to head or something like that. You do. You either do that or you don't want a nigga feet in your face. Mm-hmm. Sleep on the floor, but you never know like how big a nigga like mm-hmm. you know. But like <laughs> how big a how big a nigga, how big a nigga okay. is. So, <laughs> you never know how that big came is. out. That came out terrible. You never know how big a nigga room is. Is really what I was about to say. Or how big a nigga is. <laughs> that. You never Damn, know. No. But nah, bro. Like that's. I'll find nah, out in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Can I hit it in the morning? <laughs> hey man, something rubbed up against me last night, dog. I don't, yeah, I don't know how real. I feel about it. Damn, was that, your, was no. that your Glocky? <laughs> oh yeah, that better be your gun. <laughs> Too many Glockies. <laughs> man, listen, really. they gonna chop all of this shit up, man. Hell yeah, man, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell no. for real. But nah, bro, I can't. I don't. I guess because I'm not gay, I can't. Mm-hmm. I can't fathom how that happened. And not not meaning like how they became gay, but like how that first experience went. Right. Unless it's like planned out. Like you know what I'm saying. Like okay, I'm gay and that person's gay. We want to explore this together. But like to what is supposed to be straight people. And when I say suppose, I'm meaning like they present themselves as as straight. Mm-hmm. And they end up having sex. I don't. I can't see how that could. What if it's a cisgender heterosexual male Mm -hmm. and a 
a homosexual man. Like he has a That's gay friend. That's what I'm saying. I don't see it. I don't see how the how the <clears throat> cisgendered man becomes curious enough to for two of them to yeah like ain't that much convincing in the world like but i i think also like he may have been i won't say curious yeah he would have had to be yeah but like you're curious i'm curious and it makes sense we explore the curiosity but if you ain't even thought about it so yeah, that's why you like, just, like that's what I'm, well yeah but I then so. i think also there's people out there that they crave love so bad mm, that they'll, they'll take it from anywhere or they'll take it in any form yeah you know and it doesn't necessarily have to have like uh this is what love looks like for me it's sure. just like i know that i want love i want love to consume me per- i want perception exactly uh-huh. like you know and that's re- i think that's the reason why he put it that way I'll be honest. When I first saw, I was like, "Oh, I don't. I didn't take it as he was gay because the the handshake or whatever. That was very. I think they were both nigga. coming out. Yeah, for the it was first very time. Kiss, kiss me, me kiss me, nigga. But I didn't get that from there. I'm like, this is my nah, homeboy. Kiss me on camera, nigga. <laughs> yeah. I got what originally he's like just a love. So I'm I'm th- I'm thinking like it's a spiritual. A what? <laughs> Treacherous. <laughs> no, nah, I'm thinking it's like a, a a spiritual type relationship. That's what I'm thinking. Like he's uh, giving him healing. Oh, you saying before? Oh boy. Yeah, came before. Camera. Like it was a heal. Well, no, just when I saw him, like, oh, this is like healing type. Mm. You know, friend. Like I didn't. Tantric. I didn't. I didn't <laughs> <Right>. get romantic. <laughs> Barney. That's how we got him. <laughs> That's how we got him. I'm telling you. Embrace your king. Energy. Yeah, for real. You strong. Get, okay. You can fuck anybody you want. You bigger than Will and Jada. <laughs> It's I know Jada's you wanted to loss. fuck Will. <laughs> you know that's what I asked y'all earlier. You definitely said you felt like August had relations with Will and Jada. I can't say that. I don't feel I like I can't go that no. far. I don't feel like it because he went I way too hard. Mike Lowry ain't doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Lowry can't. So you, hold on. Okay, do don't you feel like Will Smith hasn't had any gay experiences? Because that's not that's not why I said that. I, me personally, I can't. I can't say that. Yeah. I definitely think we'll get down to get down. No, Fucking right. Man. I definitely think he Mike does. Mike Lowry ain't doing Fucking all right. of that, He look man. like a freaky ass nigga. Hell yeah. We'll look freaky as fuck. You look like you're getting turned on by that. You like? Nah. She said, hell. She's like, hell yeah. Nah, <laughs> hell <laughs> nah he, yeah, do, he do look freaky as fuck. Yeah, we'll look freaky. Um, But I don't feel like August is his type. August is Jada's type. Yeah. A little, a little rough neck. <laughs> Let's just call him a little rough neck. A little rough neck. <laughs> hell yeah, I don't think that's Will's type. I feel Will is bougie. I don't think Will got a type. I think Will like whatever Jada like. Mm-mm. Y'all think that Will and Jada like each other, and I, <laughs> I don't. I think that they got too much money to split, and no. they they're never they're ne- never severing ties. They don't like each other. They've made that perfectly clear. I think clear. they like each other. They no, don't hell respect no. each other. There is no. no way in the world that that he could come out or she could come out and say. You know, uh, we're going to, regardless, he could be living over there with somebody else and I'm living over here with somebody else. No man is going to accept that. There are men that do accept Absolutely. that. And I think, and I'm not going to say it's closed minded of you, but there are lots of men who, I, I'm not going to say lots, but there are more men that are open to actual open relationships. Whereas you like know, really I, open. I, yeah. I, I can understand that. Mm-hmm. But from the way that it was presented to us, it was her saying this. It wasn't that this is an open relationship. It was saying that basically we are keeping this this family together by any means necessary. Right. And to me, that sounded like we hate each other, Mm -hmm. but we got too much shit to lose if we split. So, you know what, nigga, you be over there with her. I'm going to be over here with him. And this is how we going to rock. And that's how this. Started. And so now he got to come out, yeah, you know, because <laughs> you know when you told me that, you know that was that was very powerful of you, and you know I had to accept, you know, my short co- the but, entanglement thing. Yeah, happened. I mean because now that's embarrassing. Now you're putting. Now I got to explain right. what the fuck is going on. What we already understand. Our, our yeah, our like our un- yeah. Mm-hmm. So that ain't for the world to. You know what I'm saying? To know. So I feel like they do not fuck with each other at all. They do this for their kids and their career. Mm. And, you know, you be over there with them. I'm over here with him. And that's how we rock. I mean, that hypothesis definitely makes sense. That's what it sounded like when she said it. Except without going into detail. Mm -hmm. Right. 
I mean, I can see it that way. Mm-hmm. And I can also see a man that loves a woman so much that he's willing to let her do whatever she wants. Fuck that. Ain't that much love in the world. No, nah, because he knows she really, whatever I say, she really wanted pop. <laughs> <laughs> and he knows he'll never, yeah, never. So he's so been chasing that. Give her the world. Yeah. I don't know. He I, ain't here. I, if he if Will could go bring Pac back, he would. You yeah. know what? Take this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick of this motherfucker. Give, to, give her to his hologram. You know what? <laughs> Have at it, bro. Not take her. I don't know. Yeah. You writing letters. The respect is re- yeah, the, the letters is OD. Then the kid wasn't Willow writing the letter yeah, to Yeah, like you don't even know this nigga. <laughs> Think it was dead after after him. Him. Yeah, like what the fuck you writing to him for? Come on, you mama. Love him. Mommy misses you. <laughs> mama said, You know where my home. mama stay? You know my you daddy stay? You mama said he had a gun you when you see him, right? Business. <laughs> <laughs> there ain't one nigga in the hood that play like that. Oh, <laughs> like, nigga, hell no. Mommy cries every night for you. Hell yeah. Please come back. Mommy said, You were supposed to be my daddy. Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> no. Too far? Hey, Willow, you got to square up. <laughs> And Jaden, you got a squirrel. <laughs> and Jaden with his box of water and everything Man, else. The fuck? Bring his real son. Bring his first son. <laughs> Not like, his real Man, look, son. We finna beat y'all, motherfucking Not ass. Not his real man. son. <laughs> no. But okay, you can't tell me that another nigga is supposed to be your daddy. <laughs> if my child came to be and said, they they really hate your guts. Uh, Damn. Yeah. And man. why you, why your other parent telling you that? Yeah, you know that should. You be got that from somewhere. You know yeah. that should be your daddy, right? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Yo, Ain't snap. that much cooking in the world. C- what? Cooking. Ain't that uh, much cooking in the world. That's what's going on with Will. <laughs> no, no, we didn't invent some imaginary sex scenario this between you put on and Jada. And you said that he could have been a cook. Well, you said that off mic, but. I, well, I said it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't feel like they were together. I definitely feel like Will. I don't even feel like Will was. I feel like he may have watched on the ring camera. <laughs> I watched him. <laughs> he's singing. He's sing, uh, what they call him? Augie. He's singing Augie um, come through. And he turned uh, the, uh, the uh, he turned it off mute. <laughs> like that, <laughs> like that Augie. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all watch that Lennon? Oh my Y'all God! Watch that Lennon? <laughs> <laughs> what was his name, Mister uh, Chocolate? Uh, Mister something? Mister Chocolate, Mr. Chocolate. Or something like that. Yeah, that oh. shit was. Well, yeah, Mister Chocolate. Hit it like that, August. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. Next Run scene. Say it again. <laughs> Do that again. <laughs> We're good. We'll, we'll, we'll clean up and post. <laughs> that <laughs> episode was Is so good? fucking Bruh, good. When he told her that uh, he was like, she'll make enough money to grow up and uh, <laughs> develop a drug problem. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, bro. <laughs> Bro, I was like, damn, this is just screaming. I hope Tyler Perry watched that. I hope that was I funny. Hope he did too. I don't know how funny. The Boondocks epi- episode show got taken down real quick. Did damn. it? Hell yeah. I don't remember. The oh, big mom what was it called, Dennis? Big Mama or something like that? Big Mama or <laughs> something like that is what Dang. it was called. Damn. It was talking you about You gotta Tyler find Perry? it on YouTube. Yes. Cause they it didn't air. They they took that shit. Yeah. Really? Because you know it came on um. Uh, Cartoon Network, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Is it Cartoon Network that mm-hmm. it aired on? And which is a sister company of TBS, which is who all of them oh, shows came on. Damn. So yeah, all that Turner shit, I'm like hell no. But damn. man, that shit. When we done with this, we got to show you that. I'm gonna die. Wow. That shit is amazing. But yeah, Mr. Chocolate, that was that, that was a was fire yeah, episode yeah. right there. Uh, that might have been. No, I think my favorite was the, the last one. Yeah. What's the last one? Whenever Thick Judge Judy. Yeah, Thick Judge seen Judy. Oh, oh okay. you didn't see when he was getting into the deprivation shit. tank. I ain't seen it. Oh, what's the? Is that the one with the Trini? With the white boy with Chet Hanks? No, that was, was a last previous season? season. Oh damn, that was good too. Yeah, no, that was good. I don't know. Yeah, the Mr. Chocolate was good. I loved Atlanta. I'm really yeah. gonna miss that shit. I didn't like the the Walt Disney one. Oh, you talking about the uh, goof, the yeah. goof by the door? Oh, I was crying last. Really? Do you remember what happened Hell in that yeah. episode? I, it really like a it really like a documentary. I was like, I'm not yes, watching this shit. Yes, and that's why that oh, shit was so yes, fucking okay. funny. It is not funny at all. It's yeah, not funny but that at all. shit was hilarious. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> when they were talking about, he was in there yelling, "Nickel!" <laughs> <laughs> he said, "They said that." One time he even started to laugh like a. <laughs> 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 He said, I run this shit. He said, I am goofy. 
Dog, I was fucking first off because that's my fa- that's my favorite movie. Goofy movie. A goofy movie is my favorite movie mm-hmm. at 34 years old. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that is still my favorite fucking that's movie. Crazy. And like to hear them say that, well, this scene should Bigfoot wasn't even supposed to be in there. Yes. All of that shit. Oh my god, I was fucking crying. And Goofy and then, supposed to be a deadbeat daddy. Yeah, Sinbad. <laughs> Sinbad was about. <laughs> so, but yeah, man, he had the real niggas up here <laughs> at the Disney. Oh um, my god. Confession: I've never seen a Goofy movie. Oh my god. So there's that. Let's not start. She ain't seen Black Panther. Okay, now it watch just, this. It just came watch out. This. Watch this. I could posture and, you know, ridicule you, mm-hmm. <laughs> but there is so many movies that I ain't seen. Me too. And I'm the trivia guy. Oh, okay then. What's movie, what movie have... Okay, well, we can I ain't seg- never we seen can just segue yeah, Oh, what a beautiful segue. Bag. There you go. What? You haven't seen who? Juice. All of the, the black classic movies, uh, uh, Jason's Lyric, uh, what's the, um, any of them, name them. I ain't seen half New of Jack them City? Shit. Yeah, I have seen that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I have seen that. I've seen that one. Uh, um, Thin but, Line Between Love and Hate. Of course, yeah. But like. Players Club. Yeah. I'm talking about like those 90s. Brooklyn. Yeah. Hot beans and butter. Come get <laughs> your soul. Oh, I love Crooklyn. That's like my top three movies. Oh my gosh. Oh, um, I love Crooklyn. Class act. Mm. Kid and play. Oh. Some of it. Okay. I seen like House Party One. I Some think. of it? I've seen the whole oh, like okay. if I piece it all together, I've seen the whole thing. Dang. So okay, so how how does one not knowing black movies get into urban tri- and how did urban tri- trivia even come about right. with your lack of <laughs> not cinemat- lack of <laughs> lack of black I mean, cinematography? <laughs> <laughs> but your lack thereof of black <laughs> cinema tire. Um basically it started out a live event mm-hmm. and niggas was just tired of doing doing clubs and stuff like that. So uh my partners they they actually started Urban Trivia mm-hmm. like they only asked me to host it. Mm-hmm. And so but as time went on like my idea my idea was to create the card game though. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so um yeah like that's kind of like just how that started. I just started hosting it. And then, you know, the questions, I'm like, okay, well, y'all got me asking this. Mm-hmm. Let me give some input. Like, because I, I sit around and quote movies, sing songs all fucking day. So, right. okay, well, let me start, you know, mm-hmm. having more of a role in this. Mm-hmm. And that's pretty much so how what, that. What movies you quoting? And you only seen six. Oh, no, six. no, no. I haven't only seen six. <laughs> okay. But the thing is, is like what I have seen, mm-hmm. I watch that shit mm-hmm. like all the time. So yeah. I know it like the back of my hand. Don't be a menace. Yeah, of course. Okay. I'm meaning like, like I said, like Juice, South Central, mm-hmm. like all of those movies that got killing and shit in it. <laughs> I, I don't Boys like. In the hood. Yeah, I've seen it. Right. But that ain't like, you know what I'm saying? Colors. Mm. No, hold on. What's colors? I don't know. But it's I've really, heard of, it's the, like the the first gang movie, basically. Oh, colors. Mm-hmm. Colors, colors yeah. with uh Braxton. No, no, not that's, Braxton that's Hartner. Original, uh-uh. That's original gangster. Braxton Hartner. Yeah, plays in there? yeah. As yeah. what? As one of the gangsters. <laughs> Didn't yeah, know that. Yeah, yeah. Wow, I gotta go. But watch. I, yeah, but I mean that's just like one of the sure movies man. that came on thirty three. <laughs> but now I ain't ever seen like like I say like like those. Them John Singleton esque movies like, mm-hmm. like uh, Menace to Society. I ain't see that shit till I was like in high school type mm-hmm. shit. Mm-hmm. And that's only because niggas like you ain't seen Menace right. to Society. So, Damn, they done shamed you into exactly. it. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Like, but yeah, I don't. So all of that shit. Like my mama wasn't watch. Well, she probably was watching it, but she not gonna let me watch it. Mm-hmm. I ain't had no older brothers. I ain't had no big cousins. Like, mm-hmm. where the fuck I'm gonna watch the shit at? Right. That's true. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. Poetic justice. I ain't never seen like shit like like movies like that. Oh. Like, Jason Lear. Yeah, exactly. I ain't never seen none of that shit. Wow. Yeah. I mean, I don't. I don't feel bad because I've seen most of them. Yeah. So I mean, there's she a, hasn't. Yeah, there's a lot that I haven't seen either, so I See, can't judge. So we, I grew up in an African household. Oh, okay, got you. Yeah, Celine you know. Dion is her jam. Yeah, l- lifetime. I see she pulled out JoJo. <laughs> Get out! Hell yeah! Get out! <laughs> leave <laughs> right now. <laughs> That's how she is. This, this, this episode. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny as fuck. Um, so 
you guys come up with the questions all yourself. Mm-hmm. How hard is that? Because not y'all ain't on the first edition no more. Y'all on the second edition, right? How yeah. often do y'all add questions? I mean, so this is the thing: we do live shows every month. Mm-hmm. And At what? We got a, Plano Legacy. Yeah, Legacy Hall should be packed. Yeah, man. You Can't know. even get in to see y'all. You know. I know. Wish we could get some you VIP. Can, uh, you can. <laughs> But you know, you gotta make it known that you that you want to go. Like you know, mm-hmm. ain't nothing but you know, hit my DM. You know, I'll send you the link before. You know, but um, not really. Like <laughs> it's funny because like a lot of people like you know I'm gonna wait till I, man. I said I was gonna you wait till wait. I got my check. Hell no, you can't wait because right. they gone. gone. And then you gotta get there early too. Well, not, you not no more because okay. it's ticketed now. Uh, so you ain't gotta get there early. Okay. Like you know, because they gonna bring you to your seat. But okay, before, so seated. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So I just, fine. I just knew I tried to come before, um, and there was nowhere to sit mm-hmm. or go, so I didn't stay long. Yeah. But I did come to the one at Mimosa. Was yeah, it, we Mimosa? were both oh, yeah, there so. for Mimosa. I was, oh, yeah, I seen you. Yeah, I was, yeah, I've been a couple times. Yeah. And when I tell you, that it was, was so much fun. First of all, the little things is broken because I knew all that shit. We should have won. Facts. I time. do not control the second time. who gets it right the fastest. Yes, because we were FNF. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. And FNF was good, nigga. We was knowing that shit. But it was a couple of questions. And I think, so this game is made for real niggas, too. Yeah. Because it was something with um, a Wayne lyric, and it was like, what degrees? And I was like, well, fuck, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Was, I, I, I feel like there was a was. Jeezy reference. Oh, Maybe yeah, it was we Jeezy. love Jeezy. Maybe it was Jeezy. Yeah, we do uh, um, what is bankroll fresh snack of choice. Huh? Hot Cheetos? Dope Boy 95 Air Max on. Get some up the road, boy. You know we tax on. You want the whole thing? Okay. Meet me on the black phone. I don't like Jeezy. Hood nigga. Hot <laughs> Cheeto with a snack on. I don't like Jeezy. <laughs> me either. So that, Especially now. Yeah. I don't like Jeezy. I always say this. I don't like Jeezy for what he did to Keisha Cole. And I'm a, I'm a friend. Didn't claim my homegirl. Like mm. they was together. And he acted like they weren't together. And but now he with Jenny. Jenny Ma. Dreaming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not not. And this is when Keisha at the gap too. Mm. Yeah, old Keisha. Now mm. Keisha just can't. She ain't never been the same. She getting her gap back. Can't get right. She not can't get right. So like in general, what's the mix of questions you usually be having in urban trivia? I mean, it could be anything from any, like a viral moment, mm-hmm. you know, something that just happened. I was gonna say y'all got what the Sway the Remix guy? Y'all got a fucking song I mean, and shit. You know, I saw that. You know, I definitely saw that. Y'all got a remix and shit. Sometimes shit get remixed. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, like that shit was. Did you know was that crazy. was happening? He sent it to me before. Uh-huh. I was like, yo, what the fuck? That's like, dope. Yeah, that's really, hard. really dope. But yeah, um, that was, it's just like this shit, is, like you, like I literally say all the time, you never know who's watching you. Man. You posted that recently. You, yeah, I posted that shit yesterday <laughs> because somebody reached out like, fam, like, mm-hmm. but you never know who's watching, like companies that that that's hit us you know to do things Mm -hmm. like it's like what the fuck like Mm -hmm. y'all want us right Mm -hmm. like that's how you know you got something though yeah like and it's it's just the power of the internet you Mm -hmm. know what i'm saying like this guy Mm -hmm. you know we we standing you know for real um you know we because we started out doing the man on the street it wasn't even man on the street it was nigga in his room <laughs> you know what I'm saying? it was it was me in my room asking like three to five questions back to back trying I to get i joined the um the uh dance with the pandemic oh no no no! before like this was after that this was like january but i'm saying like oh, the i did the zoom yeah, yeah and the zooms was like lit as fuck yeah like, like we used zooms to have like 50 like... 60 people on the zoom that's when i was like yo let's make this shit a card game mm-hmm. right so but um but yeah man like when he was like, man, like, let's just go, like, somewhere and ask people the questions. You know what? Mm-hmm. Let's do it. Was it hard to get people to answer randomly? At first, no. Mm. Now, it's hard as fuck. Really? Yeah, because they didn't seen it. Mm-hmm. And so they like, you ain't finna embarrass me. Damn. Yeah, like. Mm-hmm. Maybe you gotta it, pick a new location. No, it's not even that. They've, they've just seen it. They like, knew who you are. Yeah, they knew who I was. Damn. Like, even we was in New Orleans. And they was like, yo, like, hell no. Nah. Like, I didn't see <laughs> your shit. Nope. For real? Yeah. Dang. And then even we've, we had, you know, some people of notoriety mm-hmm. 
they want to shoot, they want to record it and then edit it and then send it to us oh. because they don't want to be seen getting something wrong. I'm like, yo, Damn. It's not that deep. you see how bad I people asked, are afraid of embarrassment? I asked you, uh, where can T Pain put you in a log cabin? It is not that deep. <laughs> <laughs> Like, it's not that deep. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's not that deep. Mm -hmm. So, you know, but it's uh, it, it's just, it's blown our minds. It, mm -hmm. It's blown our fucking minds. Like, like I say, the inquiries that, that we get, mm -hmm. <laughs> some of them are, are very funny. Mm -hmm. um, I've had a, a um, feminine hygiene company Ooh. reach out to me mm -hmm. about doing man on the street. About feminine hygiene about products like and like tampons hair. and I didn't. I, I just said, "Hey man, this doesn't align with our brand." <laughs> yeah, I, I there's no synergistic relationship. I would have did it though. <laughs> Hell no, because I'm a man at the end of the day. Yeah, like, facts. how can I even it's make it, this? Yeah. And so and the then, internet can eat you up. Like, bruh, what do you know about a woman's fuck? body? Yeah, exactly, man, pig. <laughs> facts. <laughs> yeah. This is the male patriarchy right here. Like, yeah. God damn, fam. They hired me. Yeah. But yeah, like it's it's just crazy. Like the mm -hmm. shit that people ask us every fucking day. Like, hey, um, can you do my little cousin's birthday party? Fam. No. Yeah, I can. <laughs> What's your budget? Hmm, there's a fee. And I that's definitely when I definitely hit you up. <laughs> um, and I definitely couldn't afford you, but I know I couldn't afford you. And it was fine because I was like, okay, I don't even remember this. I did, but it was like it was something I, for an idea I had. It wasn't really an idea, but it was like, hey, but was it the paint and twist paint? No, not you. Was it for Baybash? No, it was for something else I wanted to do, but I don't even remember what it was. But he was like, yeah, what's your budget? We can do. And he was like, you need this, you need this. I was like, damn, that's a lot for right now. Oh yeah, because you. I vaguely remember that, but I don't. And it wasn't even. I'm sure. I'm sure it's not what it is now. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure no. the feed in ain't what it is now. But yeah, the feed in, I, I was told like, you like five hundred dollars. You did. Yeah. Oh, the fee is up now. What? Oh, handsome said, "Fucking right." <laughs> oh, oh, he's dreaming. Handsome said, "You fucking right, it is." <laughs> <laughs> More bones. Man, listen. <laughs> More Never bones. Mind. I'm not going. But yeah. Oh, a lot more. Up there. I love oh, it. Dad. I love it for you, honestly. Okay. Like one one day, I'm yesterday's I'm, price is yeah, not I'm, today's I'm price. Like, come through. Yeah. I don't care what it is, but it, it wasn't that day, and it ain't gonna be. <laughs> it ain't the, today's price either. I mean, I mean, you know, like for and it's sometimes it's confusing mm -hmm. um, because mm -hmm. people see certain things mm -hmm. and they're like, oh, well, they did that, mm -hmm. so maybe they'll do my place, mm -hmm. and it's like. Britney's Chicken Shack. Mm -hmm. Hey, come to my. <laughs> nah, see, this is the thing. Mm -hmm. You seen us at Cafe Two One Four, but these are the people who they saw the vision from the beginning. Right. Mm -hmm. These people opened their doors to us when we had ten people in there. Right. Mm -hmm. Regardless of how they bar did or regardless of whatever, they like, hey, you just got to keep going. Hey, maybe y'all should do it twice a month. Mm -hmm. Y'all want to do it every week. Whatever y'all want to do, we're here to support. Right. So we are we will always go back there. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's nothing that they can't ask us to do, mm -hmm. and we won't do it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But people see that, mm -hmm. and they're like, hey, uh, you, do it to you know us. what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Come Anybody can hire them. Look, because hell no. Like, <laughs> and I just, I just politely tell them, hey, man, look. We're look at this stage. Mm -hmm. We're looking at doing, you know, um, seven hundred to a thousand people venue, just mm -hmm. because it won't make. You can't make sense of the cost if not. That's really all I say. Ooh, talk that talk. It's that's not even that it, like, Nah, that's what it is. No, I heard that. You have to be able to justify yeah. the price that I'm gonna give you. And if that's, you're not gonna make your money, but what are we doing? What's the, what's right? Because it's pointless not, for the both of us. I'm not traveling down there for. Whatever number you want to throw out there, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. I don't blame so, him. no, I'm you gotta know your that. worth. You do, and I mean, especially like after you've built this and you've seen like, and I'll be completely honest. When we first did it at Legacy Hall, we got five hundred dollars, mm -hmm. and I was happy with that. Mm -hmm. And I was like debating, like, damn, is that too much? Mm -hmm. And that's because I didn't know what it was worth at the right. time. And this was last year, mm -hmm. 2021. Mm -hmm. I, I had no idea what this was worth. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And you get, you know, six, seven hundred people out there and like, oh, okay, 
cool. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But then you come back around this year mm-hmm. and they threatening to shut you down because it's too many people there. Like, mm-hmm. it's just like, yo, like, okay, so now some shit got to change. Right. Like, some shit just got to change. And you got to stand on it. You know what I'm saying? You got to set your price and you got to stand on it. That's just, I don't give, that's you with your cookies. Mm-hmm. That's, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Whatever it is. Mm-hmm. Like, if you charge $25 for six cookies, God damn it, that's how much that's it the costs. Price. Mm-hmm. Because you don't know what it took me to yeah. make this. Right. Yeah. And Thanks. there's no bartering. Mm-hmm. I hate, like, if I come to somebody, like, and somebody, ask, like, I ask them, hey, you know, how much do you charge for X? And they tell me, 10x of what i was thinking i'm gonna be like okay appreciate the information yeah i'm not finna be like can you do you know this? but well can you do it for 500 right fuck no i'll like, trade you exactly no like you want some head you want some head yeah right how much that's worth hey, okay now it's five now it's 450 <laughs> <laughs> i knocked 50 dollars off <laughs> You know how good it is. You know, well, your I, mouth that be worth more than fifty bucks. Yeah. <laughs> but no, like it's 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 a lot, man. And, and you really do have to know it. You do have to know your worth. Like, yeah. For and real. and sometimes you have to bump your head and find your worth mm-hmm. because you don't always know it in the beginning. I was gonna say, like, you know, the way you guys transitioning into this because it was like get a ticket and get there first. You may get there. Yeah. You know, it was because it was free. Yeah, and and it was. I'm not going to say it was chaotic. It was a lot. You know what I'm saying? But y'all made the transition to like, okay, this is what we finna do. We finna do this. Real fast. You know what I'm saying? So that people still get to experience it and get to go and get to like really get to full, get the full effects. Every video y'all post look lit. Oh my goodness. Every video from there look lit. And the, the thing is, is like you have so many people and Sometimes it just takes you betting on yourself, right? Mm -hmm. Because this is like, okay, this is not our first time charging to get in. Mm -hmm. Because even at Cafe 214, you can buy a table, Mm -hmm. but you also have a free option as well, Mm -hmm. right? Well, this is the first time, well, this wasn't, but like October was our first time ever just, hey, every seat in here is accounted for and you have to pay for every single one. And for us to sell that shit out in a day. Like Bless literally you. 30 minutes, I posted the link, I go back, and there is zero available. Man, that's like, amazing. and then the general admission sold out by that Friday. Damn. And it was just like, yo, I told y'all. Man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and it's, and it's like I say, like, and it's not like that to my partners. We know that. It's like, us to other people mm-hmm. hey nigga i told you right like don't tell me that just because it was i i only did that because it was free mm-hmm. facts like we charged and he did it yeah, yeah we charged and did it mm-hmm. and did it again mm-hmm. yeah you know what i'm saying and so then we went to houston now we're going to chicago like Dang. that's so dope so you know all right so dennis gonna be gone a few wednesdays okay. <laughs> well t- <laughs> It's his birthday weekend, Aww. so you know. That'd be fun. He had, no, he's not going. Oh, you know, got, oh. You know, he got a wedding and stuff. Okay. Aww. He got to go see people get married and mm-hmm. shit, mm-hmm. man. <laughs> I really blame, but. There's <laughs> <laughs> on over there, like. That's his people. <laughs> <laughs> go to them folks' wedding. Oh, 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 oh he going to choose my. See, he didn't say that. Oh, he didn't say it was oh, in yeah, Miami. Yeah, the weather gonna Versus be a little Chicago. better. That's why he choosing that yeah. over. Yeah, definitely. Anytime. Chicago gonna be cold and shit. Hey, man, man listen. shivering and shaking. I gotta go buy my coat from there. Yeah, you got to. Hell yeah, a, a real but, goose down. Yeah, I'm about to say a listen. down coat. I'm going to Burlington as soon as I touch. Not Burlington. Burlington. <laughs> <laughs> I will say though, because I I was so proud when I seen you say like today's my last day working. Man, oh that's a blessing. and you quit and you stop working your job listen. and this full time. So what was that whole transition like? Oh man, it was um, stressful. Mm-hmm. It's been since I don't know June mm-hmm. that it was just like, yo, something got to fucking give. Because you were working full time, you have several other businesses man, talk, that you do. Gosh. You know, you have you got some shit going listen, on. Listen, mm-hmm. just always doing something, mm-hmm. and it just became too fucking much. Yeah. It literally just became too much. Like I would get off work. First off, I would do more urban trivia work at work at work 
than I was doing University of Texas at Arlington work <laughs> at work. Mm-hmm. Like, I would just go sit in my car mm-hmm. and just, like, take calls, go, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, the whole essence situation, like, mm-hmm. I'm just sitting in my car taking Zoom calls, mm-hmm. like, trying to figure all of this shit out. It was just, it was just too much. Mm-hmm. And I was like, yo, like, I got to quit. Damn. Like, I I have to. And it was like, well, really, it wasn't, I got to quit. It was something has to give. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's, and it's like, job. which one <laughs> is it going to be? Said, I can get this another job. job. <laughs> and it became the job. So September, um, I quit. I was the only person that did what I did. So I did give him a two-month notice. Mm-hmm. So, you know, so he can find somebody, train mm-hmm. him up and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So That's good you yeah. gave a notice. Yeah, definitely congrats on that. Definitely yeah, walked I appreciate out. Nah, he was, he's... You like he was a great, yeah, he him. was an amazing supervisor. Mm-hmm. Like, so I appreciated him for that. So, how often, like, do you get questions? So, are the questions that you guys do on the street are they from the game too mm-hmm. that people are playing? sometimes, mm-hmm. sometimes, like if I'm trying to, like, that's how we tested out deck two mm-hmm. was by doing man on the street. Mm-hmm. So you know, like the um, uh, tell me uh, the Drew Hill shit, mm-hmm. like you know, watching the reaction of that. Oh, that needs to go in the game. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? But like, that's really just like our testing ground. Like, mm-hmm. you know, just go out here and just see how these hoes eat. Yeah, that makes sense. So, Do people ever like send in questions? People send in questions all the time. Mm-hmm. Specifically, my mama. <laughs> <laughs> My mama, my mm-hmm. wife, my daughter. Mm-hmm. She gave a good ass question one time. Um, it and I'm like, how the fuck do you know this song? Mm-hmm. But it was um the Yin Yang Twins. Uh, she got her hands all on her knees and then her bows on her thighs. Got me because she was doing the ya 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 ya. She mm-hmm. was like, well, she's like, what do they? What should they say? Ah ya ya ya. I was like, nah, that's not gonna be the question, but. If her hands is on her knees, where's her elbows? That was the Both question. On her thighs. And so I was like, yeah. oh, shit. And man, that whole. That's a that good whole, question. That's a good question. That's a real good question. But yeah, I mean, it's literally just like, I just observe every fucking thing. Like just how we was just talking. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, that's a question. Right. You know what I'm saying? Y'all mm-hmm. so old, y'all look, y'all starting to look like. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's just shit mm-hmm. that old black people say Hell that yeah. you can heard your whole damn life. Hell yeah. So facts. even like, like my wife, she cooking. And I'm like, she was literally making a fucking frozen pizza. Mm-hmm. And I said, what did you put that on? She was like, 350. Mm-hmm. I said, the box says 425. <laughs> like, <laughs> we going to be waiting for fucking ever. Yeah. <laughs> we love 350. 350. Fuck it. And so Stand I was down. like, you know what? Mm-hmm. Let me do that. They came up with a question for the Fabuloso. I, I never, I didn't live that. What do you mean? When people be boiling Fabuloso. Yeah. Really? I never knew about that shit. Really? That is very dangerous and toxic. Exactly. Yeah, people still do it. Man, you know? and we found out in the comments that this lady, she takes, her mom takes the plugins after they're done. Mm-hmm. She filled them bitches up with, the with Fabuloso. Yeah. And plug them into the wall. Mm-hmm. Bro, that's, that's wild. That's not even a good smell to like permeate throughout the whole house Apparently like that. Apparently it is. Mm-mm. That's it's how they toxic. knew it was Saturday. <laughs> what? <laughs> the smell of Fabuloso in the, the plug The smell of Fabuloso and probably Al Green. Yeah. That mean get your ass up and, co- and clean. Damn. Yeah, I don't know so. if I want my whole house to smell like Fabuloso. That's crazy. It's one thing to like smell like I just cleaned. Yeah, the clean now scent. that's the smell of clean. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> and but it's yeah. another for it's like just Fabuloso all throughout the place. Mm-mm. Like, no. Yeah, that's too much. So where do you see, I mean, because clearly you have the vision. Yeah, where sure. do you see Urban Trivia in the next five years? Five years. Mm-hmm. Um, we'll have, I don't know how many decks out. Mm-hmm. Um, TV show. Um, TV show would be really dope. Like, Damn, bye, Dennis. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> nah, in the, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, obviously, like the live events just being like tours. Like, oh no, I was saying bye to you for us. Oh, oh okay, okay. No, I wasn't saying them getting rid of you. No, oh, I'm okay. saying we was finna lose them to yeah, y'all. Yeah. Y'all do a TV show. I had yeah. to think about that. My mm-hmm. bad. <laughs> Gotta watch how you encourage us, okay? <laughs> you might steal your employees. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> but nah. Um. But yeah, like those. Those are like our mm-hmm. our our lofty. 
you know um but i want i really want to do like stadiums like Ooh. i want to get to like american Airlines center and we're doing american Airlines center for black excellence night at, really yeah. so shout out to my girl dd Dee Dee, um That's and dope. my guy desi for putting that together desi brown yeah. okay desi be moving and shaking up yeah, and that's down. really really Listen. dope so yeah it's uh but yeah like that's 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 our our thing like i'm i want to i want to literally do this shit like like a while and out like mm-hmm. that's that's my goal I'll, uh another question i had are you gonna have uh, is there like themes coming for urban trivia like th- with the decks what you mean by themes? Ooh. like you know all like, mm-hmm. i yes mm-hmm. but the tough part is licensing mm. i want to oh my god i'm not gonna say it but i want to partner with tv shows because i've seen the, the martin one before and things like that so i didn't know how that works yeah i don't know how it worked either okay <laughs> but <laughs> they was able it. to say that this is martin Tri- but they have a lot of them right mm-hmm. so they and i'm not gonna give a ex- specific name mm-hmm. but like it'll be they'll have the essence of whatever it is right so right. just say um if it's insecure it'll be like um it'll be like the essence of the way that it looks Mm -hmm. and it might just be like uh black girl relationship questions Mm -hmm. but you can tell that it's like it's related to yeah so or like friday and it'll Mm -hmm. be like popular day of the week Mm -hmm. type (laughs) shit like that you know and it that'd be the (laughs) so you know but i want to do some officially licensed shit Mm -hmm. like I wanted to do Insecure so, so bad. Oh, that would have been, been so, so fire. Especially since it ended, too. Like, you Hell could do a yeah. whole complete You got game five of seasons of yeah. content to pick from. And Gold. we did all, you know, before we was doing our live events that way. All Insecure, all Beyonce, all Friday, that. all this, all that, right. all Martin. So, mm-hmm. you know, um, but yeah, that's definitely what I would want. But, you know, that's the way that you get around that license and shit. You can... Just ask the questions, mm-hmm. and hey, it's under this umbrella. Dang. So, what is what has been kind of the the most eye opening thing with this whole experience oh that you've God. noticed? So many things. <laughs> um, oh Lord, um, that it's an actual business. Mm. You have to handle the business, mm-hmm. meaning uh, trademarks, copyrights. Niggas will steal your shit facts mm. like niggas will st- and they will try you. is there an urban trivia uh, somewhere else on ig uh-uh. okay but there is a high uh, underscore tri- yeah, it, no it's just like urban is like urban trivia game like that's the name of but they don't have nothing on it mm. and, like it's just there mm-hmm. so that's why ours is the urban trivia Got game you. so but Report um the other one I tried. They won't <laughs> like. I just want that because that's so much easier. Urban yeah. trivia game. Mm-hmm. But um. But yeah. And especially if I asked them now, they'd be like fifty thousand dollars. Like right. Facts. Fuck you, nigga. Keep <laughs> keep what I got. Keep what I got. But um. Yeah. It's a business. Um. You know. Um. Managing like your emotions in this shit because it's you know it, it's it's hard to take your personal feelings out of business right mm-hmm. to them this is the way the business work to me nigga you trying to fuck me dog hell yeah mm. and i ain't wrestling nigga <laughs> <laughs> i ain't horse playing with you nigga <laughs> but yeah it's no i ain't yeah. wrestling with you nigga I'm yeah no nah, like no nah, but that's really it you know mm-hmm. um but you know because it's four of us, mm-hmm. you know. Hey, look, you take that, you take that, you take that. I take this, mm-hmm. and we just, you know, put that shit together. Like, but it's it's so much that you gotta learn, you know, marketing because we had never had to market the product before. Right. Mm-hmm. We it was all organic. Everything that we had did was all organic. Mm-hmm. Like it was just from a nigga seeing the shit and wanting to buy it. Now I'm having to convince mother. Well, not convince. Mm-hmm. I'm having to persuade you right. to buy the shit. Mm-hmm. And it's like, fuck, bro. Like, nigga, just watch the video and laugh mm-hmm. at it, and then, and go, then go buy my it. shit. Buy yeah, now, exactly. But it just don't work that way. Yeah. So you know, that's the other side of it. Po- posting at certain times and when to post oh, and, and, and what to do. Like we, we all trying to figure this when shit out. When and where? Because mm-hmm. I, I was like, you know, 
all my viral posts, I posted them first thing in the morning. Mm -hmm. So now I'm kind of superstitious about it. Mm -hmm. If I don't post it early in the morning, Mm -hmm. they don't do shit. Mm. So it's like if I like and I'll test it like, okay, well, I'm going to post it at three. Mm -hmm. Forget about it. Mm -hmm. 50,000 views. You're like, God damn. You post it, post the shit. Thousand, goddamn. Yeah, but I mean, what you used to, yeah, exactly. And see, I have to, I have to recondition my brain because of I've, I've seen two point eight million, mm-hmm. and I'm like, how do I get back there? Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And so then you see one point two, and like, fuck, how I get there? I see eight hundred thousand. I, see, you know what I'm saying? But like, so when I do twenty five thousand, mm-hmm. I'm like, damn, that ain't do nothing. But it and then it, exactly, mm-hmm. but it's because of you know it, mm-hmm. you, you ever hear a nigga be like, man, I'm broke, dog. I'm down to my last five thousand dollars. Like yeah, nigga, like, five thousand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't work with that. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> like nigga, mm-hmm. we eating crab legs tonight. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know what gonna I'm trick saying? It but off. It's just, it's just, it's different. But mm-hmm. I have to, I have to think like everybody doesn't get this. It's hard as fuck to get a thousand of anything. I know because I used to rap. Mm-hmm. It's hard as fuck to get people to do any fucking thing. Man. Mm-hmm. Let alone buy something from you. Exactly. So. For real. Are you done? Oh, this is, this is. No. Si- okay. I'm not. Okay. Well, shit, as long as you know I was going to ask. Yeah, me, and, <laughs> me and Star, we, we working on some shit. But it's just like for fun now. Mm-hmm. Like I had to get to a place where I can do it for fun because I had this love-hate relationship with it because I wanted you all my fucking life. Mm-hmm. And you little bitch. <laughs> You ne- you know what I'm saying? You went fucked all these other niggas. Yeah. And you never, you know what I'm saying? And now you only fuck with me because I have a trivia game. <sighs> you know what I'm saying? That's but it's so crazy though. You. Like, God really will give you like that pivot. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. he puts you in that spice that space, like, I know that that's what you wanted, mm-hmm. but I got something better for you. Right. Like, this shit gives me everything that I wanted from rap. Mm. and i'm still doing the same shit Mm -hmm. still being creative i'm still in front of a crowd like me and darren well dj almost famous we (laughs) talk about this shit all the time like dog this is what we've always wanted Mm -hmm. and we get it it's just in a different space that's amazing yeah so you know you just gotta watch for it like you even think about joe budden this mm-hmm. nigga rapped his whole fucking life. Mm-hmm. This nigga starts a fucking <laughs> rap, podcast. Rap hard. Hell yeah. He starts a fucking hard. podcast. Pump, pump, pump and it up. he gets up. every fucking thing that he wanted from rap. Man, I fucking love Joe Button. I think he was just in there watching it. Yeah, I think he, I think here. Joe's a genius. Yeah, you're not a genius, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah. You, did you watch those videos? The the big pump killer? No. Oh my god, it was a nigga. This was when Rory and then was still on it. Um, he was just dissing them. He would write diss raps to them every fucking week. That sounds and so familiar. he so he he said, You're not a genius, Joe. That was just at the end of one of them. <laughs> <laughs> like they played them hoes on the show. Yeah, I like think I do remember hearing Man, the that clip. shit was funny as hell. But me and my homeboy Antonio he was like, You're not a genius, Joe. But no, he he definitely taps into because that shouldn't have worked with yeah, Ice and Ish. It, should it shouldn't have. have. But Joe's the glue. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So when you got that talent. It'll work just, with anybody. Yeah. That's why I said, like, you the best podcaster in the world. Like, any you could sit with anybody. Mm-hmm. Yep, you know what I'm saying? Really because can. she's going to. Who would be that fucking honest? Like that, not me. Man. <laughs> like, I, I, low key. I'm, having, I'm having to pull it out of you. So what you like? <laughs> Oh, you know, Shit. It, you know it's going to take nice. you a little while to get to this. You yes. know what I'm saying? Nah, I think that's my downfall. I'd be saying too fucking much. Man. <laughs> nice. Niggas like, know how to get you. Man. Like, man for real. Right, I'm big. I'm black. <laughs> Is my eye look? I'm, I'm ugly. ugly. I'm, yeah. <laughs> that's, and I'm funny. And I'm, that's enough. It's not enough, nigga. It's I mean, because you got to have more than four inches from what she said earlier. I didn't say that was like the the. Oh, that wasn't that, that didn't discount them. Oh, okay. You know what to expect. Yeah, I, 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 I but I, I, the crazy. Th- um, I just walked in on the conversation. She was like, and the nigga I had was, a little dick. I said, God damn! Like, what? <laughs> what we starting already? I, mean, I just gave him the podcast to watch, so he. Oh. He might watch. <laughs> hey there, hey there. <laughs> I didn't say it was little. Here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> I literally just gave him a podcast to watch. He's like, hey. hey. <laughs> what they say? <laughs> what little baby, little baby said? Baby said, hey. 
saying she was telling the story. I didn't say it was. She was li- being hyperbolic. <laughs> she wasn't talking about you, bro. I, right. didn't, I didn't say it was little. I just said what. Anyway, um, yeah. hey, what's, what's new? What, what you got going on next? So next we got the um, New Year's Eve show. Mm-hmm. We're in Chicago, December seventeenth. Oh, my birthday! Um, <laughs> you know, uh, birthday. Oh, my birthday. Happy birthday! Oh, thank you, Sag. 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 Big Sag. Y'all, you know what I'm saying? Sag. Not the Sag. little one. <laughs> Fuck Christmas, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 17th over 25, bitch ass nigga. You feel you know me? What I'm saying? 17th, 25. Don't give me two fucking. If you give me two give gifts. Give me two gifts. Mm-hmm. But don't on, make it on my birthday one. and Christmas. You, know what I'm you saying? feel me? Fuck and wrap that bitch. Hell yeah. Please. Oh, I can't stand that. <laughs> <laughs> we getting out all her triggers. You know her. Oh. <laughs> How do you know her? Don't just hand oh, me some shit. Yeah. That's, and it better not be a gift card, nigga. I can buy my own damn gift. I promise. I, I prefer not. Yeah, you know. Damn. What else? I feel like I know you pretty well now. Yeah, like, nah, you, you're pretty good. I ain't gonna you know lie. Bring it a STK. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, I'm not really a steakhouse girl. I ain't gonna lie to you. Okay, you can get, you can get your lobster there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, that's true. That's true. Okay. That's true. I do love about you, though. The- I'm giving y'all the game, you know what I'm saying? Even though, you because know, I told I told y'all mine. You gotta, like you said, you gotta pull out a tan. His <laughs> <laughs> tan ain't finna just tell you how you can trick her. No, but I gave you the whole you fucking blueprint. Yeah, you, you wrote the direction. I gave you the, down. the password. Hey, turn left. I gave you the password. <laughs> tell you where the keys at. Hey, gave him the car. The, 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 magic, <laughs> the keys in the car. Goddamn me! You ain't gotta break the window. Just open that door. <laughs> Rub real. my arm, tell me I'm a queen. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying, and um, I might, I I'm, might just arch this back. Might spread you. like butter. Never <laughs> Never. I want to see. Mm. You. I That's might. So funny. I don't look now, Dennis. We might have to take <laughs> a lot out this way. Come on, I can send a lot. Oh my goodness! I should have asked her if there was anything she want to talk yeah, about. Sure. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> You asking me? I'm like, I'm an open book. She like, nah, nigga. Yeah. Page one. Yeah, facts. Here's the table of contents of me. Oh. But yeah, um, that we putting together a tour now. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, we're gonna be making an expansion pack for next year. Probably That's gonna dope. be growing up black. Ooh, so, um, oh, I love that. That's dope. Yeah. Can y'all um have like a a card somewhere? Oh, we got to do like a gold card. You know, like the golden Ooh. cards out the box. I don't know what they would get if they got um, the gold yeah, card. Keep, keep, keep giving me good marketing. But that's on, listen now. If that's one thing I can do. Oh yeah, for real. Is that I got a fucking idea? I just don't want to do this shit. Okay. For it. But like that's like that's a gold card would be, dope. would be dope. I don't know what they would win. Though, I don't but. know. We can figure that out. <laughs> yeah, the do- the, col- the, the gold pack or something like that. You know, I, well, I don't know what the card is. What, what's the card for black people? I don't mm-hmm. say EBT because that's very offensive. Oh, oh my God. That's That'd offensive as fuck. As fuck. Ooh, I got the EBT card in my bag. I got EBT <laughs> card. And we do got the question which groceries taste better? Food step cards? Damn. Or, I mean, food step groceries or debit card groceries? Food step groceries I always hit them. Oh, yeah, because they're free. Them all 50%, at least 50%. Of man, them. Food, and food step groceries, that's the tomahawk. Oh, nigga. The debit card the groceries. Lays. The debit card is the uh, chicken. <laughs> no, nah, that's the that's the uh, be, uh, skirt, uh, skirt steak. Beef uh, skirt. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't even real Girl, steak. Uh, like a, a pack of drumsticks. I was about to trigger you. What? I'm not going to do it. What? What was the shit that you ate? Remember the shit you ate and they broke you out real bad? Oh, baklava. baklava. <laughs> oh, my God. Baklava. How the fuck I was supposed to know I was allergic when to baklava? she told me where she got it from, I said, that's where you should, that's where you went wrong. Bruh, right? I've ate stuff out of Marshall's. It was Ross, but Ross still, hey, what's wrong with Ross oh, baklava? that's even worse. What's wrong with Ross baklava? <laughs> I don't even want to buy clothes from there, let alone. Food. Oh, you okay, Mr. <laughs> five, more than 500 or so. No, okay. uh, no, no, no. I will go to Marshall's. I'll go to TJ Maxx, but Ross? What's wrong? Ross I don't is, see a problem with Ross. First off, is you want to say get up? The, the floors <laughs> don't look nice. I mean, I've been in some dirty ass Rosses before. I ain't gonna the lie clothes, to you. You gotta pick this. You gotta find the medium on the fucking yeah, floor. Yeah, it be piled <laughs> on the floor. It be some little kid and kicked it up you know underneath somewhere. Yeah, you gotta it's go to the dresser room a little nigga clothes. in the rack. Hell yeah, <laughs> running around. Right. Spread the coat open. <laughs> nigga, what you doing in here? <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. Man, look, no. I ain't gonna lie. I get my chocolate from Ross. The little, uh, not the Ferrero Rocher, the other ones. Oh, like the, I know what you're uh, talking Almond about. Roca. I yeah. get Ross. Mm. You, you, now you have to watch the expiration date. Now, in my, in my defense, 
I developed a nut allergy at <laughs> 30 plus. The irony. As much nut. The irony. No, I like nuts though. Like, Clearly. like. <laughs> You've told us. Like tree nuts. Like I, I like nuts a lot. Like yeah. I've always ate nuts. And so the fact that I developed an allergy at 30. <laughs> it's be stretching. Nuts. It's with nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Handsome said, hey, man. I still got mine. You look confused as fuck. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> uh, oh, they, they kept them. No, but the fact that I just developed it at, at 30 plus was just wild to me. Yeah. And I did not know it was from baklava, but that's what triggered it. That's Kicked crazy. all that shit up. Yeah. But mm-hmm. anyway, I'm always talking about my nuts and my likes and things like that. Where can everybody find you at and connect with you guys uh, you and know, stuff like the that? The Urban Trivia <laughs> Game on Instagram. Mm-hmm. Urban Trivia Game on uh, TikTok. Um, the Urban Trivia Game on YouTube mm-hmm. at Stanley Newcomer. If you want to follow me, everything uh, spelled correctly. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't know when this is airing. Friday. 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 Okay, mm-hmm. cool. We got a. Uh, <laughs> we extended our Black Friday sale. <laughs> okay. You know what I'm saying? So you know, go to UrbanTriviaGame.com and you know all your stocking stuffers, white elephant gifts. Um, you know your friends miss and your. You know, your Christmas parties yeah. or whatever you celebrate parties, mm-hmm. you know, your mm-hmm. birthday parties, your girls night, mm-hmm. your uh, New Year's Eve game nights. Mm-hmm. And we got a New Year's Eve show. We up in Frisco. Ooh. The tickets are uh, available now. Mm-hmm. And, is this uh, a formal event? Or? It is a formal Ooh. event. Ooh. So you gotta be Ain't no jeans, bitch. Oh. <laughs> Ain't no jeans. Dang. So is it kind of the same format for this, too? Uh, no. Well, what you mean? Like... Like what you normally do is it kind yeah, of the same thing? Yeah. Dress so we're gonna have our own separate. So it's gonna be two parties in one. Mm-hmm. So buy one ticket, get access to both parties. Ooh. So um, you know, if you want club shit, you can go over there. Mm-hmm. Want to come and rock with us? You know what I'm saying? We'll do that from like eight to twelve or some mm-hmm. shit. You know, mm-hmm. ball drop, and then we turn it up afterwards. Oh, that sounds fun. So, yeah, so that sounds be fun. real fun. So. Where, where, where can they find music at too? Um, shit, Spotify, anywhere you can get Drake, you can look up Saint Row, S A I N T R O. Um, you know, um, YouTube, mm-hmm. you know, we got, you know, good, good, good music, you know, um, and just uh, yeah, doing good. We things. got some new shit. Shout out to my man Star. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we about to uh, put some shit out, and uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, fuck with it. Definitely, and I need, I need to get me one. How much is the the, the Black Friday special going for? I, I like discounts. So, <laughs> so, uh, so deck one is nineteen ninety nine. Mm-hmm. Y'all take Klarna. We take <laughs> one of them. No, I ain't I ain't even bullshitting. We take one of them. I think after it's afterpay. Pay. <laughs> I think it is for real. Um, nineteen ninety nine for the first edition. Second edition is nineteen ninety nine right now, mm-hmm. and then you can get both of them for thirty four ninety nine. We got t shirts. We got these hoodies. Hoodies look nice too. And uh, you uh, know, look look well, the TV, put, not well the put together. You know, real you know real quality shit over yeah. here. Yeah. You know this ain't okay. this, you know this is exclusive. Chanel. I see you know it. This, this come up off you. you no, know I saying? promise. Saying? Exclusive. We ain't get this done at Redbird. It's textures. <laughs> There's layers to this shit, <laughs> but yeah, no, nah, like uh, it's it's been amazing. It's it's been a, a wild ride, and you know we just we just getting started. There you honestly. go. I'm excited so. to see it. Honestly, yeah, every same. time you, see, I just feel proud. I just be like, oh, look at this. I remember this was at the bar, and this was free, and mm-hmm. now they charging an arm and a fetus. Not no arm and a fetus. Arm and a fetus. See, now, I, and you know what? I'm glad you said that because mm-hmm. some people be like, yeah, they charge too much. All right, listen. It's fifteen dollars mm-hmm. for a general admission ticket. Mm-hmm. That's for you to stand up. Mm-hmm. It's two hundred. It's twenty times six for you to sit down. Mm-hmm. Right. So just break that down between the people that you bring, mm-hmm. and it's it's really only twenty dollars. And then for the VIP, I think it comes down to like thirty something. That's not bad like, at all. It's, yeah, yeah, like you gotta find you six p- people that like each Man, other. Man, <laughs> listen. But no, they find it. That ain't the problem. It's they can't get over the initial, oh, but they don't see, break it down the total per person. Amount. Yeah, mm-hmm. but I mean, if you go to and shout out to um, uh, Trap Karaoke, mm-hmm. you're gonna pay more than fifteen dollars to get in Trap Karaoke, you and you're gonna it's stand. Sand. Yeah, you and if you want up. one of them seats, you 60. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So and we shout out to them because they're gonna be here this week. Oh, oh yeah, Thursday. no, not Trap. It was Trap Bingo. Trap, yeah. I loved man, Trap Bingo guy. was so much fun. It was, it was fun. okay. So I we met them. Oh, let me know. Y'all trying to end? 
but it's okay. Okay. Well, <laughs> we met them at Essence, mm-hmm. and um, funny story is they um, they started doing one of the events, uh, one of the venues that we do in Dallas. Mm-hmm. Long time ago, it was just like a little club. I can't remember the name of it, but that was our first place in Dallas. Mm-hmm. And um, I hit them up and I was like, yo, like y'all used to do this and now y'all doing House of Blues. How did y'all do that? Mm-hmm. And this nigga literally get like George. Let me not just say this nigga, <laughs> um, but <laughs> shout out to George, George of, um, of uh, Trap Bingo. Mm-hmm. He literally just gave me the blueprint of how this stuff goes. And Damn. so like with that information, like it just armed us to be prepared for what we're going through now. Shout out to people so, like that. Yeah. yeah like, real. you know, the, not, not gatekeepers. Mm-hmm. And it's so crazy because I was the same way in music. Anybody who wanted information that was willing to listen, I would give you the information on how to do this shit. Mm-hmm. And it's so crazy to see them or Mouse Jones from Trap Karaoke giving me the information, pouring back into me. So, right. like, it's just, you know, it's it's, it's really good to have people that's like that because people will withhold information from you mm-hmm. all the Seeking time. And every single thing that you don't know. Mm-hmm. Is money in somebody else's pocket. Man, facts. Every facts. single time. Banking on you not knowing it too. Every single time. Mm-hmm. Yep, for real. You get to a venue and they like, yeah, you know, you like, okay, I paid ten thousand dollars for this venue, but you didn't know that they had a rack fee. Mm-hmm. What's a rack fee? Oh, well, you know, that's the extra two dollars, three dollars that they put on every ticket. Mm-hmm. So now you sell a thousand tickets. Right. You know, mm-hmm. I paid you ten thousand plus you getting another three. You know what I'm saying? Plus, you about to get the bar. Like, you like, God damn. Yeah, well, if I knew really that, maybe <laughs> maybe I would negotiate differently. Mm-hmm. You yep. know what I'm saying? So, but it's just the more information that you have. Shout out to my nigga Smooth Vega for giving me that information. But, go. like, okay, you know, it's Smooth just Vega. it's just always it's just always learning something. Mm-hmm. Like, you know. Well, we definitely are proud of you and the growth that you've made. Absolutely. And stuff like that. I just appreciate then, y'all. you Even just you and Dennis, just, like, doing more. And we had, we had Essence, and we in Chicago, and we definitely do this. Like, it's amazing to yeah. see. So, we really, really appreciate you co- spending time at your busy, busy schedule, oh, entrepreneur. Thank you. Y'all. To come holler at us. You know, I ain't got to go to work tomorrow. I don't know about y'all. Yeah. We got to go. Oh. God. Yes, no, he did it. He said, man, wrap this shit up. No, the fuck he did it. <laughs> oh, he a wild. Wrap that gavel up, B. He a wild. Okay, well, shit. You know where to find us. <laughs> <podcast> <laughs> what he said. I had some jumped on the equipment. Come on. Handsome like, uh, <laughs> did y'all see those memes for Thanksgiving? <laughs> like everybody sitting on the couch, but that's where that's where you sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Like, we y'all leaving, fam. Yeah, that's that's, that's, that's yeah. some right now. Well, y'all know where to find us at Hear You Podcast on all social media platforms. Hear You Podcast. That, if you have any questions, black. comment. <laughs> black, 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 black. If you have black any questions, black. comments, concerns, you can hit us up at hearyoupodcast at gmail.com or www.hearyoupodcast.com. Y'all can find me. Follow me at Cookie Bay, goddamn me, because don't, don't do who that underscore breezy. Find me Thanks. at Cookie Bay. B. And order them cookies. Cookie Bay cookies. Because Cook- I, had, I had them peanut butter joints. And you had them before they was infused, too. Mm, uh, you know, y'all yeah, can't do no. You had them before they yeah, was infused. Me Boy, no. The s'mores one. That shit was I need to so bring that fire. shit back. It's just a, it's just a labor of love. This shit be taken. I don't, I, now that I make cookies with weed in them, I don't want to make cookies and charge $2 per cookie no more. Yeah. When I'm not going to be charging 10 and that shit be getting you lit. But follow me at Cookie Bay Cookies. And where can they find you at Big Dog? And, of course, you guys can find me on Instagram at Tana Taught You. That's T-A-N-N-A-H. Taught You. All right, y'all ready to get up out of here? Let's go. Once again, bro, thank you so much. Thank you thank so much you. for You want to dap up like August Alcina? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Only if we can kiss. Up. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a kiss, bro. nigga. <laughs> Wrestle, bro. Wrestle, bro. <laughs> As always, shout out to everybody. We had fun, and we will talk to you niggas next week. Bye. Bye.